Welcome to Gene, please, Gene Forge, which has no, I was gonna say no music. Uh, they were supposed to be, <laughs> I was told this game had no music. I was pretty sure this game had no music. It sounds like it has music, <laughs> poop stream. It's not a poop stream, it's a Gene Forge stream. The poop has been taken care of now. I just needed to make sure that was, that was established, all right? Uh, welcome. Welcome to Gene Forge 1 Mutagen, the remake of Gene Forge. I'm pretty sure outside of the menu here there will not be any music, so I've got some music ready. Somebody, somebody, uh, sent me a dungeon synth album called Diplo- Diplodocus, Slow and Heady, uh, Heavy, and it says the genre is dungeon synth, comma, dino synth. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get to hear the music of the dinosaurs, <laughs> which sounds great, but uh, yes, I don't know if you know anything about Gene Forge. I don't. Let me be clear. I've never played a spiderweb software game. I hear they're amazing. I hear the stories are really good. I hear they're autistic. Basically, I think we're, we're in for somewhere between a classic RPG and like a, with the amount of dialogue there is, probably between a classic RPG and like a, like a fucking visual novel. So get ready. Probably just a classic RPG. They all, CRPGs all have a bunch of fucking, a lot of, uh, dialogue. I played like 20 minutes to just make sure everything worked. And yeah, there was no music at all. I predict this will be hell. No, no, no. Oh yeah, so what I know about this game, I played like 20 minutes, but I skipped all the dialogue. Like I literally just want to make sure it worked. It does. Uh, and, uh... All I know is that the Chinese are making human-pig chimera hybrids, and that's the inspiration for this game, where it, we, we are like a god figure who can create life using magic. Uh, I don't know anything else. So, so, <laughs> let's go. Uh, welcome to Gene Forge. Select one of the three character types to the, to the left. Use the text box to change your name when you're ready. Okay. Shapers Guardian Agent. Shapers are skilled at magic and unmatched in their ability to create powerful creatures, but they are physically frail. A shaper will have to rely on its creations for protection. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. I like the New World Order using my minions to do my dirty work class. Uh, guardians are the defenders of the shapers. Okay, so already I'm a- in a game about slavery, I have to be one of the slaves. They are highly skilled in melee combat and can create, create creatures to add them in an, aid them in an assault. Their magical skills are otherwise weak. Agents travel around on the command... Do agents have to be women? Well, that's a no-go. I'm never gonna play the woman class. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> agents travel around on the command of the Shapers and solve problems, usually violently. Their magic and weapon skills are strong, but they're not good at creating creatures. Agents tend to be harder to play. Well, so it's like I can play the spy who works for the Shaper, I can play the warrior who works for the Shaper, or I just play the Shaper. Why would I not? How about you finally play Umin Echo, you lazy mutt? I want to play this game, dude. I want it. So this is a real game. It's got real shit going on. It 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 looks cool, dude. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely doing Shaper, but name. What's a name of somebody who would do, like, human transmutation, New World Order fleshmancing, creating chimeras to rule the world with, take over, take over the world? Bel Belisarius Call. Dodd, but backwards. <laughs> Dodd, but backwards. <laughs> Xi Jinping. Oh, we did that already. <laughs> yeah, Xi Jinping makes sense. It's an autism game, so it's a good fit for the stream. Yeah, of course. Yeah, al always. Something Chinese. <laughs> Seal Kadoom! <laughs> Yo, is that a- is that a Sonic RPG reference? <laughs> Talking of Alchit not being over, it must be addressed apart from my Saracen Sabres. Breaking the toilet more experiences what? have muddled my travels so much suffer. However, saying it's important to have fibra because it's pretty common to break your U.S. I don't know. I don't know what you're implying. Let's stop with the shit talk, please. <laughs> I know that was my fault. <laughs> I'm definitely naming him Seal Kadoom after the Sonic RPG villain. That is the best fucking name. 
Uh, casual, no thank you. Normal, for people who don't want a huge challenge but don't mind the game pushing back sometimes. Geneforge will start out quite easy but become a challenge when you get close to the end. A nice, moderate difficulty level. A harder difficulty for with su for someone experienced with role-playing games. Your foes will do more, uh, will have more abilities, do more damage, and be harder to kill. Your spells and abilities can damage your own characters. Or torment. The ultimate challenge. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna do veteran, I think, right? Veteran or torment, don't be a pussy. Veteran, yeah, I, I torment, <laughs> torment. <laughs> I'm not doing fucking torment. I've made this mistake so many times in my life where I choose the hardest difficulty and like the game just becomes unplayable. I'm definitely gonna do, uh, I'm, a veteran seems good. Veteran seems classic, you know. When we play Gene Forge 2, I can go tor play Torment or I'm taking your balls card. Normal unless you want to challenge, go veteran. Not a real gamer unless you don't choose Torment. You, you people have seen how this goes before. The game just becomes unplayable. Also, I'm pretty sure you can change the difficulty in-game. You can. You can. So if Veteran's too easy, we can bump it. Alright? The Shapers are the oldest, most respected, most secretive, and most powerful of the magical sects. Oldest, dude. Not oldest. Can they be... Hmm, I don't want to be an old man. They have the power to create life. The Shapers can make new life forms from nothing but organic matter and pure magic. They can mold this life to serve any purpose, be it light housework or major warfare. The Shapers guard the secrets of their power very closely. To learn their techniques without permission is to court a speedy death at the hands of a guardian in the day or an agent in the night. After years of work, study, and testing, you have finally been accepted into the Shapers. It is the greatest of honors. You will spend your life advancing their will and learning their secrets. First, you must complete your apprenticeship. You must spend five years out on, in a Shaper colony on a remote island, watching their work and aiding their research. Your journey is two weeks long. The journey. You travel on a living craft, a specially modified drake that will sail you to your destination. After a week's journey, you pass close to a small island. Couldn't I just take in that boat? Your chart it identifies it as the Sukia Islands. It is barred by the Shapers. Forbidden for unknown reasons. Dangerous. I'm going to Epstein Island. <laughs> Dangerous accidents, valuable secrets. Visiting it is punishable by death. You watch Susia Island, wondering what secrets lie there. You thus fail to notice the warship off to the east. I notice it right away. Your craft cries out an alarm, alerting you. The... What? It insta uh, fires a long spear at your craft. The razor-sharp bolt strikes your drake in the neck. It roars in anger and breathes a bolt of fire at your attacker. It strikes the enemy sails and sets them ablaze. The battle takes only seconds. Your living craft founders, mortally wounded, dropping you into the water. Your equipment sinks into the depths. You start to sink into the rough waves. But with one last effort, your living craft saves you. Bleeding, dying, it drags you towards Susia Island. You grab onto the crumbling dock, barely conscious. Your craft slumps against the stone, dying. You are left alone, abandoned, on a forbidden shore, marooned on Susia Island. Okay, it looks like a pool float for kids. Yeah, dude, it looked, it looked goofy as shit. Uh, quick little, uh, quick little thing to, uh, to point out here is that you may look at the graphics here and think like, what, is this game from fucking 1998? The answer, two answers. One is yes. Two is you should have seen them before. This is a vast improvement. I, I took a look at some screenshots before and uh, this looks quite nice. You stagger off the dock, weakened to the point of collapse by your desperate swim here. After I didn't swim, the, the, my, <laughs> my watercraft took me... Look at this fucking pool floaty. <laughs> After a few minutes, you manage to regain enough of your senses to look around. You're on the south coast of this mysterious island. However, apart from the fact that this island was declared barred by your people, you know nothing about it. You wish you'd already started your shaping training. Islands are generally barred because of a failed experiment in the presence of horrible rogue creations. Worrying. Oh, so my... <laughs> my slaves are revolting. Fortunately, except for the... Can that happen in-game? Can my slaves... Except for the lapping of the waves in the base of the dock, all is quiet. If you're going to be devoured, it won't be soon. However, you're still stranded and desperately weak as well. Fortunately, the beach stretches off to the east. Maybe you can find supplies and help. You have a hundred coins. Re record. 
what am I saving this dialogue for later in case I want to look as am I putting this in my journal okay uh, map window formation oh oh that dude <laughs> when you've got this the same formation button is in every single CRPG when you see this when you see this formation button you know you're in for a fucking treat Ooh, ooh, the Isle of Susia. Looks pretty nice. All right, so we're down. Okay, all right. Uh, update my journal. You've been stranded on Susia Island, an island barred by your people. It is forbidden for visitors to come here, so you're required to leave as soon as you can. Most likely, the only way you can escape this place is to find a boat. There are several docks on this island, but you'll have to find a path to them. WASD doesn't do anything. Sioka Doom has no abilities or items. Okay. Default attack fireball, that sure sounds like an ability, but... Ah, uh, so I gotta use arrow keys to... Okay, I'm not a... Right click and left click do the same thing. Both of them can move you, or move the... That's interesting. Uh, you are currently walking east. In Gene Force, the upper right is north. Hold tab for a reminder. Huh? Oh, north, west. Oh, yeah, thanks for the reminder. I'm in peace mode? Combat mode. Inventory. Okay, alright. I need to figure this game out. Shapers and mages are generally fond of heavy robes and dramatic cloaks. They're woven with materials that provide resistance against elemental attacks. Do my clothes actually change if I move stuff? Inconclusive. They might not allow you to be naked. If, if they do, if the clothes change, amazing game. If they don't, I'm mildly disappointed. Uh, there's an old ratty cloak on the ground in front of you. It looks like it's been there a while and it's not very clean. However, you're wet and cold and you want enough to want it. Uh, G. Yo, roguelike controls. Fuck. It doesn't change what I look like. Fucking lazy fucking developers getting away. Clearly this one man team didn't put enough work into this. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm... Issuing a refund right now. There's a tunnel to the north. By the way, recently I bought 5D chess. I played it for like an hour. And I was just like, this, is, this isn't worth it. And I refunded it. <laughs> I tried to play it against a friend of mine. Multiplayer. And we both just like, didn't understand it well enough. And I beat him just by like, random luck. And it was like, okay. Alright. I need, I'm actually, I'm actually poor as fuck. I'm broke. I, I should get a refund. There's a tunnel to the north. Built into the side of the hill. I need to move my mic a little bit. Your guess is there's a storeroom or warehouse. Oh, right. Yeah, there's no music. Let's please turn on the music. Diplodocus. Yeah, I guess this is Dino Synth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the structure is crumbling. Oh, wait. You, uh, storeroom or warehouse, usually one place near the docks of a settlement. One is placed, got it. You would guess that it's been abandoned for at least a century, probably two. After all these years, most of the goods inside are probably useless. You might be able to find, might be able to scavenge something useful. They're probably useless. They might not be useless. <laughs> okay, tab does highlight shit. Nice. Nothing. Wait, what the fuck? Bones. As you are now, this was once. As this is now, soon you will be. Let me lower the dino music a little bit more. I'll take bones, I guess. Uh. Oh, wait. 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 Javelin. A mundane and non-magical weapon, but effective nonetheless. Shapers are nothing if not... Nothing if not practical. Oh. Sick. Ranged weapons. Okay, cool. Um... A bowl and a spoon. Most people in Shaper society eat food with a simple bowl and spoon. The Shapers are concerned much more with much more lofty pursuits than mere cuisine. <laughs> While you were eating your steaks, I was learning the way of the Gene Forge. There is a door below and to the left. Most doors open when you get close to them. Others are open by pulling levers. Walk over to the door and when it opens, go through. Select the glowing canister on the other side and you'll get a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Thanks, game. Inside this small chamber, you find several cylindrical containers. They look like canisters, each about four foot high. The sides are made of thick, carefully blown glass. Most of them have been broken. The contents are long gone. 
One of them, however, is still intact. Inside, you see a glowing fluid. It swirls and moves about, seemingly under its own power. It looks like it is, in its own way, alive. It probably is. Yo, dude, it's the it's two-headed boy from, from the song. <laughs> All floating in glass. You have been you have seen similar objects. The shapers can store essence concoctions, filled with life energy, which heal or energize those in need. This must be something like that. There's a sharp metal needle emerging from the top. If you let it poke the palm of your hand, the substance will emerge and energize you. In your weakened state, it seems hard to resist. Oh, time to take my time to take my gene drugs. Increase firebolt by one. Yo. Oh, well, no, don't go in combat. Okay. You're suddenly struck by a dizzy spell, driving you to your knees. It is not caused by fear or hunger, but by the effects of the strange substance in that container. Can canister. The essence-infused emerald goo didn't heal you or revive you like you expected. It changed you. It's like it soaked into your skin and rewrote some of your very being, making you stronger. You know, I put GMO in the title as a joke, but I'm I'm literally genetically modifying my body right off right from the very beginning. I am I'm uh, gene editing myself into a superhuman. A strange urge, an instinct seizes you. You you By the way, the other day I was or today I was buying some like uh, supplements because I can't find good sources of of uh, Organ meats near me. I can find liver, but like nothing else. So I was looking for supplements, and uh, on their on the website for these supplements, it was like, "What are you getting these supplements for?" And it's like, "Oh, I want to lose weight, or I want better uh, gut health," which is definitely the fucking one I picked after last night. Uh, and then like all these like regular options, and then one of them was like, "I want to become like a god." <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what what supplement makes me like a god? <laughs> I didn't click on it because that's forbidden knowledge. Tiny trails of- wait, wait, wait. A strange urge, an instinct, seizes you. You extend your fingers and focus. Yo, I know that strange urge. It's when you're- it's when you're standing in the shower and water's running over you and you let the water flow out from your fingers and pretend you're P Poseidon because you're autistic. <laughs> Tiny trails of flame shoot out of them. Magic. Actual magic. What would have taken years of training, you learn to do in an instant. It is exhilarating, and at the same time, utterly alien. You had no idea that your people could do something so wonderful, and you feel a deep compulsion to find more of these canisters. Canisters are the main way to gain new abilities. You can now cast Firebolt. I like how every single dialogue box, it tells me how much money I have. The <laughs> the shapeshifters, the, the gene forgers, uh, really put a high value on monetary wealth. So that you need to always be aware of what your standing in the world is, which is how many coins do you have in your pocket. There's an office to the west. The shelves on the wall have nothing on them but dust. The cabinet in the back corner, however, might contain something useful. Okay. Is the is the is the music quality good? I feel like it could be like maybe a tiny bit loud. Am I crazy? There. Twelve coins! Or copper discs. 12 copper discs. That's what they that's what they call them. Okay. The box contains a variety of papers. You rifle through them. Isn't it rife? No, rifle? Is that right? I'm stupid, don't worry. Hoping for a clue as to where you are, you where you are or what might have caused this island to be barred. It's no use. The papers crumble at your touch. Beneath the papers though, you find something more interesting. It's a brass key, none the worse for wear, for its long concealment. Okay, cool. Uh... Is that the symbol it's always gonna show, or is it just because this is another cloak? Also, can I sell shit for money? No one knows the answers to any of these questions. I don't know why I'm asking them. I'm asking because I think there's maybe one person here who has actually played this game before, maybe a couple. What is this fucking crystal? Can I shoot it? No? Hmm. Wait. You've not learned to make creations. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna have to learn how to- what all this shit is eventually. Um... Fire shaping, battle shaping... 
Yeah, we'll get to that, I guess, when we level up. I don't, I'm not ready to make that kind of decision. You are now in hipster mode. <laughs> you can sell stuff for money, you just can't buy anything. Then why... But then why would... <laughs> then why would I do that? <laughs> the pat... Do, do... Are my creations made of money? Are we doing classic golem style? The path farther into the island is blocked by a thick stone door marked with a symbol of the shapers. When you get close, your skin tingles. Complex magical protections are in place. You are a soft, reassuring voice. Susia Island has been barred by the Shapers. For more information, send a request to the Council. Only full Shapers are allowed entry. Shaper qualities have been detected within you. You may pass. Please do not remove or interact with any... And then the voice cuts out. Strange. Yet, yeah, strange that... You're not allowed on this island unless you know magic. But, like, fucking three feet away, there's a source of magic. Also, who broke all the other ones? Are they all, Did they all give Fireball, and so four people have been here before me, and they all also know how to use Fireball? Is that, a, is that a stick, or is that just... It is a stick. Yo, you gotta be fucking paying attention in this game. Look at how impossible that is to see right there. Uh, 3 to 5, physical damage, club. 5 to 11, the dagger's better. Alright, well. Is that a ghost? Watches you silently. Wait, is that a rock? Rock. This is one of Susie Island's many native stones. I'm sure that'll be useful for something. Uh, healing pod. This gourd contains specially formulated and mildly enchanted shaper-made goo. Okay, the guy who asked about the cum... Don't ask anything else. <laughs> <laughs> eating eating it has some beneficial effect. Fortunately, it keeps for a long time. Pods help you only you use spores to heal your entire group. All right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna ignore the ghost for a second and look over here. I don't know if that's apparently this game has real decisions and what you do actually has big effects on what happens. So I'm I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for that. See what what terrible decisions I'm gonna make. There's a shade standing in front of you. It is a hazy, insubstantial humanoid. It warps and twists in the light breeze. You suspect that a strong wind would tear it apart. It hovers in the air, staring at you. Though you can't make out any features, you can clearly tell that it's watching you. Special encounters like these give you several actions or things to choose from. Select a response or type the number. I've been shipwrecked on this island! Can you help me? Why are you watching me? Or attack? <laughs> Just step one, uh, let's just immediately, immediately attack. You ram your hand through the wispy construct. It meets no resistance. When it tears through the shade's misty form, the strange creature loses its form. It dissolves into a mist, which fades away. You are alone in the clearing. Hell yeah, dude, first encounter successful. Door is not locked. The lever inside the guard post will open it, but only if you can find the key. Lever's can be unlocked with the right tools by having mechanic skill... Okay, so mechanics is lockpicking. Alright, well, I've got the key, I'm sure. Uh, another dagger. Can I equip two daggers? No. No. It's fucking loud effects. Ooh, okay, a shield and a tunic, which gives one... That's worse than one... That's worse than my robes. Okay, cool. Uh, open that up. Is there anything to... Is this... Can I pick up the trash? No. I told you to play on Torment, dude. <laughs> I killed him without even going into combat. Yeah, this game is fucking easy. Now that you've made some progress... Could you call this progress? You should save the game. Saving the game creates a snapshot of your progress. <laughs> Just in case you've never played a game with saving before. Later, you can load the saved game and continue where you left off. That's fucking crazy. To save your game, press the settings up button and click save, save option, F3 is a quick save, F4 to load. Oh, that's dangerous. I'm going to fucking press F4 on accident. Finally, the game saves for you automatically when you enter a new area. Oh, wow, this game has auto saves. Okay, I'll save. Yeah, you can see I played for a little bit, just trying it out, just like skipping through everything. I got to the first zone and then just, uh, just stopped, didn't do anything. These were probably the barracks for some guardians or agents. They were abandoned years ago. The beds were rotted. <laughs> Fucking guardians and agents. Imagine playing guardians and agents, dude. The actual slave untouchable class of Gene Forge. The beds have rotted away, and there is trash everywhere. Whoever was here left very quickly. Two chests were left behind. Another worthless tunic? 
my favorite. I like the sludge on the ground, the slime, the... Okay, more javelins, more daggers, all, all worthless. Wait. Is that something? No? Uh, press this. What did that do? Okay. Not really sure what's being accomplished there, but, uh... Yo, it's a... When you press tab, you'll see f labels. A strange roamer. Fight. Once again, you find you are not alone. There is a roamer just ahead, watching you. A roamer is a creation. It is a creature invented and improved by your people for use as a scout or an attack dog. When it says your people, are we like a race? Or a, or like a cult? Or like, like what is the... Are you born as one of these people? Do you join? It sounded like I joined, but I'm not really in yet. So it's weird that it says your people when like I'm, I've been accepted kind of. I'm like an apprentice. I, I, cult. Organization. Yeah, that's what it seems. Okay, okay. Got it. For use as a scout or an attack dog. Since it's a creation, it should be naturally inclined to obey you. Don't spoil. Oh yeah, good point though. Don't, don't spoil any. Yeah, no, good point. But I think that's been established already actually. On the Kickstarter, they didn't hit the 95k goal for the professional sound dev. Oh, so that's why the sound effects are like that? Perfect, dude, perfect. The chosen people. I was chosen. I was chosen. Uh, however, this creature isn't servile to you at all. It doesn't look hot. Could you? The insolence of this creature to not be immediately servile to me. It's just staring. It is an eerie feeling being watched by a creation in this way. Creations have always obeyed you mindlessly before. It is clear that whatever this island is, shapers have been here. However, if this isle is full of rogue creations, you may have a serious problem. The roamer doesn't respond. Not surprising, they can't talk. When you get close to the roamer, it sniffs at you. Then it gets nervous and runs away. Odd. Huh. Okay. I like already the, the, the mystery of this game. Like, it's very... It feels like real classic exploration shit. Like, it's not just I arrived on the island and someone calls me the N-word and explains where I am. <laughs> not not to diss on Morrowind, <laughs> but uh, instead, we get big text boxes and lots of just looking around like, Oh, what does this mean? What is all of this? You immediately recognize this place. It was an inn where visitors and travelers could stop for steaks, drinks, and sleep. The, th the, the holy trinity of life. The crumbling roasting pit still dominates the center of the room. You're getting confused. This island was once fully settled. Why? Most islands are barred because of experiments gone awry, and most experiments are performed by very small labs in crude quarters safely far from society. Yet you've seen warehouses, guard posts, and now an inn. At one point, a lot of shapers lived here. Now they're all gone. Why? What could have driven so many of your people off? And what took their place? I'm guessing this is this is classic like Lovecraftian. The, the I, I know Lovecraftian is not the only one to do it, but I just read Love. I read Mountains of Madness recently. The the slave race has taken over from the master race. That is what I'm guessing. Uh, I got a sick belt now to keep my robe up. I got more robes, backup robes in case I piss my robes in a scary fight. I am apparently quite quite weak, so. Ooh, okay. Two gourds. Can I... So how does this quick use slot select to set an enemy? Okay. Now if I press 1, that doesn't do anything. A? Okay, so you actually have to click... Oh no, shortcut F5, F6. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. So... Firebolt. I just can't hit anything. Wait, I can hit myself? You can't target your own group with attacks. Why not? Why not? Is it against the law to kill myself? Is it not allowed in this game to kill myself? Is it because it goes against the Twitch rules to kill myself? I saw some creatures up there, by the way. They look like pigs. Looking to the north, you can see what you that you are not alone on this island. It's only the third creature I've run into, but yeah, I suppose now I know I'm not alone. Though you're worried about horrible mutant creations, the next creatures you encounter are nowhere near so terrifying. It's a flonk, flock of orcs. The orc is a shaper creation. Is this like oink? Is that because it's a weird pig thing? 
It is a slow, clumsy livestock animal, hardy and laden with meat. Shapers created them to stock lands unfriendly to non-created animals, such as, apparently, this one. Yo, nice. Cr fucking farm-grown meat. Uh, lab meat. You notice that these orcs have large tusks, probably added by the shapers to protect them from predators. Fortunately, they are likely to leave you alone if you leave them alone. Alright. Okay, I suppose I'll be peaceful to the pigs. I'll be kind to the pigs. Is that... Does that mean next area? That's like Baldur's Gate style, right? Uncomprehending stare. Okay, they're retarded. That's good. It would have been actually kind of scary if they had anything other than an uncomprehending stare. Yo, is that a piano? I need to get a better sense of what kind of universe we're in. Because it seems like... Like, we've got these... Like, those canisters that look sci-fi, but the rest of the game is clearly very fantasy. If your mechanic skill is two or higher, you can select it to open it. Otherwise, you need to bring a living tool. <laughs> I know a couple living tools, you know what I'm saying? A couple in chat right now. Thorns. Shapers grow these thorns on specially bred bushes. They are loaded into batons and fired at enemies. If you fire an unloaded baton, you will automatically reload it with thorns. Okay. And $35. Um, so I need... Oops. I need mechanics. Enables you to use fewer living tools to open locks. So if I had level 2, I could just open it automatically. When I level up, I might consider that. But I think I'm definitely going to focus more on summoning than on lock picking. Especially since it seems, yeah, strong, weak. So I assume I have better skills in these. Although these are neutral. This is just melee shit, like combat. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I'll ignore that. Blessing magic, fire... Oh, okay, this is actually nice. It tells me... I mean, I don't know what anything these things are, but it tells me what the different what the different skills I get from the different uh, um, skill sections, whatever they're fucking called. The peace symbol is derived from the Semi-4 flag for NND, Nuclear Disarmament. Yeah, I know, yeah. I, I've, uh, I've heard that one. And the guy who created it actually didn't like it after he made it, and he wished they would use a different one. You have reached the northern edge of this region. You can see more of the settlement to the north. When you're ready to move on, step on the area shaded blue. You will be on the world map. You'll travel. Uh, to make things easier, it'll be automatically selected. Regaining your strength and feeling more confident. In this next section, you will learn about spells and combat. Okay, cool. I leveled up. Whoa, I leveled up. So I have ten skill points. Mechanics only cost one. So I could bump that twice, and then put something into some sort of shaping. Fire, battle, magic. Fire, battle, magic. So fire allows me to create Fioras, Roamers, and Drakes. A Drake is that thing I swam on, right? Battle lets me create a Thad, a Clawbug, and a Battle Alpha. <laughs> Yo, Thad and Battle Alpha sound great. And magic allows me to create an Artilla, a Vlish, and a Glock. A Glock. <laughs> so I can just fucking shoot someone. Uh, I don't know what any of those are yet, so I guess... I'm gonna bump my mechanics up, and then I'm gonna put the rest into shaping. But I think I am gonna do mechanics. That seems useful. So let me go... Although... Yeah, no, because... I was gonna say what kind of items would really be valuable for me if I'm just summoning, but it could be a canister. So actually, it, it's probably worth getting lockpicking to be able to get through these places. And it gives me EXP. I got thorns and ice crystals. This crystal contains a single powerful magical charge. When thrown at an enemy, it will turn into a dangerous and damaging bolt of energy. Yo, sick. During calmer moments, you sometimes pause to reflect on Susia Island's dire need for an effective recycling program. Yo, I'm an eco-terrorist. Yo, thanks, thanks, Taters, for the gift sub. Appreciate it. Very nice. Uh, you know... Alright. None of you are allowed to call me a pussy later if I change my mind. But, I'm considering... Putting it on to harder difficulty. No, no, let's keep veteran. Let, no, well. No, never mind. 
Enter cheat code. Yeah, dude, it's a classic style game. The game actually has cheat codes. Yeah, let's 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 leave. Yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna change it to up. Uh, I'm not gonna make it harder because I I looked up. I forgot. I, you haven't even entered combat. Yeah. F first of all, good point. Second of all, I looked up. Uh, I typed in like Gene Forge Torment difficulty um, before I started the stream when I was testing to make sure the game worked, and I saw all these people saying like, "Hey, I've beaten every single Gene Forge game." But I can't beat Gene Forge Mutagen on Torment. It's impossible. So it's like, oh, okay, yeah. Let's stick with let's stick with Veteran. This game will violate your anus. My anus is a little uh, not not prepped for that kind of violation. So let's keep it on Veteran. There is a a huge stone hall just ahead. What a weird thing for me to say. What a strange way of putting what I just said. This is a, it's still intact. The soft lights glow inside. Your skin tingles. There's more shaper magic inside. Walking on dry land is refreshing. The strange essence canister continues to work changes in you. Your strength is slowly returning. Defeating foes and finishing quests will give you experience. When you get enough experience, you gain a level. You've gained a new level. You can now train your character. This will help you survive the battles ahead. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know what I want yet. I definitely don't want these. Uh, weight and weapons? Nope. Damage? Nope. Missile weapons? Nope. Spell effects. Does that include shaping spells? I don't think so. Essence you get per point as an EXP? No? What the fuck is essence? Skill? No. What is essence? An endurance. Amount of Oh oh, essence is the is the green bar. Okay. And health. Spell energy, essence, health. So this must be this must be summon energy. I, I'm guessing. Uh, battle magic, mental magic, blessing magic, spell crap. Shaping is definitely one of what we want to focus on. But there's no reason we couldn't do some magic skills too. But yeah, we'll wait. We'll wait on that until we get into combat and see what we actually want, what we can use. Creations require essence. Some spells also use essence. So there are moments when your anus is ready to be violated. It's not what I meant to imply. I killed my whole party with those ice shards because there's friendly fire. Nice, dude. I love friendly fire. Do you immediately recognize this? You guys ever you guys ever learn where the uh, the origin of the word fragging comes from? I thought it was like a quake term. Like that's where it originally came from. No, it comes from Vietnam when the soldiers who didn't want to fight and were mad at their commanding officers who would send them into like like you know shitty situations they would throw frag grenades into the living quarters of their of their COs so that they could kill them and since they threw the since it was a grenade there's no fingerprints in it or anything and nobody can tell who killed them and then now that their commander's dead you know they don't get sent into battle or maybe they just didn't like the commander or whatever the case and this was like common enough that the commanding officers like stopped sending people into battle in some places and, and were just like scared to give orders to their troops. Did not know that. <laughs> the proud history of the American army. Apparently it's also, that's one of the reasons why they stopped the draft. Because it was like, alright, they're just gonna kill us. <laughs> like, <laughs> this draft is not worth it. Here the shapers here the shapers on this island used magic and force of oh there's a shaping hall got it there had to be one of these on the island somewhere here the shapers on this island used magic and the force of will to create to make creations for both utility and battle amazingly this building is mostly intact shapers build things to last you can see energizing pools in the side chambers holes in the ceiling allow lights to shine on them keeping them alive the goo and oh, I don't like that they're alive it's like fucking stem cell pools the, it's, it's like a hot tub if you never clean it for years. It becomes a living being. The goo inside... Oh, wait. They couldn't find fragments of the American grenades, or did they just use captured Charlie grenades? No, the idea is that they wouldn't be able to... You know, like, okay, there's a... Imagine there's, like, a fucking 50 guys all at one camp, and one of them throws a grenade into the, into the commanding officer's tent. They don't know who did it. There's no fingerprints on the grenade... Uh, it's real easy to just like throw it in and then dip out, you know, in the middle of the night. So like they don't know who did it. They can't fucking kill all, all 50 of them, especially since they're now blown to smithereens. So apparently some of the COs, the commanding officers would start um, sleeping in different tents every night. 
so that they wouldn't because they were afraid of getting fucking frag grenades thrown in <laughs> You can see, yeah, yeah, the goo inside each pool is a semi-living, essence-charged algae, capable, oh, algae, gross, capable of drawing energy from the air and the sun. If you stand near a pool, you will be able to replenish your health or essence, depending on which pool you select. The corners of the hall, you can see two glowing glass canisters. The essence mixture churns and glows within, ready to give you power. All right, time to get my RDA of iodine. Hell yes. Secrets of Essence. Essence. This is the codex. Oh, okay. Wait, special item. Ruined dock key. Journal. Crumbling dock. Recorded. Oh, is this because I clicked record? Oh! Oh! So you can record things in your journal so you can look back later. That's kind of interesting. I guess I'll keep that in mind. Essence is represented by the green bar to the right of your main character's graphic on the roster. Use Essence to make creations and cast the more powerful spells, like healing. When you spend Essence to cast spells, you get it back by returning to town or by approach- a town, there are towns, or by approaching an Essence pool, like the one nearby. However, making creations reduces the ma- this game's fucking spoiling me- reduces the maximum amount of Essence you can have. If you have a total of 30 Essence, for example, and you make one Fiora, which costs 10 Essence, then your new maximum is 20. You can't get the other 10 back until your Fiora dies or you absorb it. It is up to you whether to make a lot of weak creations, a few strong creations, save your essence for spells, or mix the three. Geneforge makes all these options viable. Oh, interesting. Okay. Alright. Oh, so blue heals. Green gives you essence. Got it. Did you hear about that lady who died from drink- or, Well, she didn't die. She, like, uh, she almost died. She, like, fucked up her kidneys from drinking some green, like, she did a juice cleanse. And the green juice almost fucking killed her. Well, almost killed her. Because it just completely fucked her kidneys. Just warning you against the risks of green juice. Uh, heal. Do you want to use it? Is there a downside? Yeah, I want heal. Oh, I guess maybe it could have made me not get the other one, but that's not the case. So, create Fiora. Fire shaping. Each point of the skill increases the level of these creations. Okay. Um... To survive on Susia Island, you will probably need to make creations to fight for you. Probably. I like how it says. Like, this is a game about creating monsters, and it's like, you'll probably have to do that. When you... <laughs> what if you just don't? When you use the canisters in the first shaping hall, you'll learn to create a Fiora, a small, fire-breathing lizard. To make a Fiora, you'll need at least one level of fire shaping skill. Happily, you start with this. Each creation has a minimum shaping skill needed to make it. Create th to make a creation, press the plus button in your roster. Here, I guess? Yeah. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six slots, or seven slots. You can then spend some of your essence- yeah, seven. Up to seven. To make a servant, improve its skills. The more essence you spend, the less you'll have left to create more of them. You can create up to seven servants. When you spend essence to make a creation, you can't get it back until the creature dies or you reabsorb it. The Fiora. Fiora is one of the first creations novice shapers learn to make. They are easy to shape, easy to control, and effective defenders. Because they are so simple and foolproof, outsiders often assume that their original design was easy to make. It was not. Creating the Fiora took decades of careful work. Thousands of generations of salamanders were warped, always taking care to maintain reliability and simplicity. They are far from the most uh, powerful creation. There's a lot to be said for ease of use. So yeah, they're like... This is a fantasy realm, but they were doing gene modification generation after generation. Is that a bull? To make the perfect salamander. Yo, I'm gonna take this beaker. I'm gonna take this metal bowl, these weights, and these scales. I doubt any of these will be useful, but who knows? Ooh, ooh. Okay, so these are fire creations, battle, and magic. Um. Base level 2, extra fire shaping skill, skill of this type 1. So that's a Thad, that's a Claw Bug, it's just a big scorpion. That's a Battle Alpha, Artilla, I still don't know what any of these do though. I know what if, okay, excellent mix of melee and missile ability. Alright, summon one. Um, it's, I'm level 2, it's level 3. That's bad, right? It's a higher level than me. How strong your control over your creation is. The higher this number, the worse the control. Five. Weak. The... Huh. F 
Affects the chance of the creation fleeing or going rogue in combat. Improving shaping skills improves control. Having lots of creations or creations of higher level than you reduces control. Yeah. Endurance, magical skill, agility, strength. Essence costs six. And I can give it... Yo, I can name it? Yo! Um, what do I name my slave boy? We need to, we need, we need to do a Gene Forge Nuzlocke. Uh, strength upgrade. One more point of strength does more melee damage. More magical effects. So that's more magical skill. But that levels it up and gives me less control. Uh, more health. Overlord. Overload. Consumes the essence within the creation. It attacks, will do double damage, but it'll take damage every turn. Uh, oh. Fire breath. But also Cone of Fire. That sounds sick. Innate Haste. This character always acts faster if hasted. As if hasted. Hasting this creature makes it faster still. Ooh. And special abilities have no cooldown time. Yo! No cooldown mixed with Fire Breath mixed with Super Magic. I'm gonna create a Flaming Gatling Gun. Oh, this is sick! And he's gonna be fast. Hell yeah, dude. He's level 5. I have very poor control over him. Magic is the raw glass cannon... Is raw glass cannon babies. I love Artillas. Oh, the magic... The magic creations? Ooh, that makes me want to go magic creation. Then I like that. Fire's good generalist. Battle is melee. Magic are longer ranged and more frail from what I remember. Hmm. Well, I like the uh, I like the idea of uh, of the magic based on what you said. So, uh, hopefully that should be fine. Very poor control. <laughs> Sounds bad. I can give him a symbol. Uh, let's give him the lightning bolt. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, and we'll name him uh, Char Charizard. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Okay, so that used fourteen of my essence. Alright. So I can make another one, I guess, right? But he'd have to be weaker. Um, I could make a melee one too, right? So instead, I'll give him strength and haste, and that only costs 10. And he'll be my, my, let's put a shield? Yeah, he'll be my up close guy. Oh, I gotta give him a name! Um... Gene Forge Nuzlocke. <laughs> it really is a very interesting idea, but not gonna be Lord of the Scorpions. That's another idea, actually. Because, but that would I'd have to go I'd have to go battle for that one. Uh, let's name him uh, uh, Hank. Hell yeah! All right, let's go. I wish I could make them a little more easy to tell apart, but whatever. Uh, as you walk down this path, you feel on edge. Your shaper training has left you attuned to sensing certain sorts of magic. Hostile creations lie ahead. Might be a good idea to make a creation to aid you. Yeah, fucking easy, dude. No problem. Soon you'll fight your first battle. Since you have a shaper, you should have at least one Fiora. Yeah, dude. I got double what you require of me. Seal Kadoom is making his armies to stop Sonic on Her Herbergatan Island. <laughs> Agumon. Aw, oh, dude. I should have named him. Uh, my next one's gonna be named Agumon. These buttons set your current attack type. Melee melee weapon or missile. Select the space the character stands in to attack. About to enter a battle. During combat... Oh, yo, it's got, like, tactical combat? Okay, cool. Uh, you may leave combat when your foes are distant or dead. To attack, select the space it's standing in. To use one of your abilities against an enemy, use the, use the use ability button. Okay. What are we fighting? Oh, just another fucking lizard? Alright, easy, watch. Firebolt... Out of, out of range. There's a Fiora standing on the path ahead. It's a very common model of creation. Shapers have made them for centuries to serve as bodyguards, watchdogs, and even pets. This one, however, doesn't have the usual expression of servility and obedience. Yo, since this is our first creation, the dinosaur music fits. It doesn't look at you with fear or respect. Instead, it is drooling, as if it sees you as food. You have heard tales of creations which have turned on their creators, have gone rogue, but it only rarely happens. When it does, the rogue is instantly destroyed. This Fiora has spent years free of shaper control. It bares its teeth at you, daring you to step forward. 
Oh! Thank- thanks. Uh, I guess I don't have any control against him. He just moved on his own, but... But I'm okay with that, I guess. Uh... I threw a javelin? I didn't want to throw a javelin. Uh, fire breath. <laughs> Woo! We did it! Yo, I'm fucking good at this game. Control over them is too poor to control them properly. Yeah, he just kind of did that on his own, but he did what I wanted, so I'm not- I'm okay with that. Okay, another. Um, so he goes first, I guess because he's the fastest. So just fucking blaze him. Remember you are blazing. I thought that was going to hit me. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm feeling good. Uh, coins. Yo, shoes! Look at these fucking new Yeezys. Switch to Torment. Look at this. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's call this uh, Charizard Acquired. Yeah, save over. That was just my test save. Uh, I do want to check back this way, though, first. But yeah, I'll turn it on to Torment if you remind me. A few levels should help, and he should get that just fine. Oh, help actually being able to control these fuckers? Yeah, it's it's fine. Like, I'm not too concerned about not being able to control them at the moment, because they're... Like, they're not doing anything too bad. This, this is definitely the kind of game that is 100%, I am no doubt in my mind, it is going to have secrets. Apparently it's also going to have dead ends. But like, there are definitely going to be secrets in this game, so I need to make sure I am I am checking every fucking corner. Look at that, dude. Secret pot. It had leather in it. I don't know if I need that. I don't know if that's important, but... Secrets. Alright, go over here. Seal Kadoom with the drip. Put it on easy. The tutorial level is easy, yes. Well, yeah, that makes sense. But I, the the guy saying to put her on torment, I'm I'm interested in if the tutorial will be hard. You know, e even the tutorial will be hard on torment. Uh, let me, I'm gonna consume a little bit of salt. Let me just let me just grab that real quick as I slowly walk over. Hmm. Hmm. So I want this guy, I've got, how much, wait. So I can walk here and then attack, right? Nice, okay, so I want this guy doing melee, I want this guy doing ranged. Oh fuck, I forgot to change it because I ran into him when I wasn't paying attention. Did they drop anything? Oh, they do! No, it's just trash. It's, no, it's like literally trash. Uh, okay. Hank and Charizard. <laughs> More coins. All right, let's let's see. Uh, torment and save. Hank, Ack. Music stopped. Yeah, what's with that? Also, that wasn't even the same album anymore. It was just more dungeon synth that started automatically. Let's play uh, the uh, Stronghold OST. There we go, dude. That's some RPG music. It's not from an RPG, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Uh, let's take a look. I like how my dinosaurs are going over there, but I can't figure out how to go over there. Very nice. Very nice when I'm the retarded one out of all my creations and everything. All right, so we're on Torment now. Uh, you go up. Oh, fuck, I used all of his. Okay, don't worry about it. You're fine. Use flame. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're a little bit tougher. Uh, I mean, it's the tutorial, so I don't know what to take from this information. Like, okay, it's doable but a little hard. But, like, it's the tutorial, so it probably shouldn't be even a little hard. So what do I take from that? RuneScape music. Why didn't you say something earlier, dude? RuneScape OST. That's the music we need. Absolutely. Original soundtrack classics. Here we go. I'm gonna have like a fucking breakdown from nostalgia, I'm realizing. Oh! Oh! 
It's been so long, dude. This was a storage warehouse. Well, it still is. But now, instead of housing useful supplies, it holds old trash and rotten sacks. On the counter to the west, something useful remains. There's a sev there are sever several thorn batons. Most are dried up and dead, but this one looks like it's still alive. Thorn batons are one of the Shaper's most ingenious creations. They are a mix of living and inert matter. Plants, mixed with the touch of an animal. What? Grown into a metal frame, capable of firing a long, sharp thorn at high velocity. Yo, this feels like, like, terrible, like, uh, playing god. When unused, mo they go into hibernation and can live for a long time. Most of the batons abandoned in this room have died, but one managed to survive. Okay. Uh, thorn baton. Equip that shit. Hell yeah. Amphora. Ooh, worth 20 bucks. And broken baton. Why am I taking these? Oh, fuck, I'm at it. Wait, junk bag? Useless items go here, you can sell them back in town. Yo, they got a separate junk bag? Yo. You're the best, game. They've actually got a junk bag for selling stuff in town. You can control click, too. I can't believe it, dude. That's fucking sick. And it's, like, endless. Yo. Hell yes. And that. And that. Okay. Very nice. Uh, let me let me turn this down a little bit. It's a sweet addition. Yeah, I don't know what's in the original and what's added in the remake, but that's very nice. Instead of inventing electricity, they created small mechanical slaves. That's kind of Roman style, dude. Who needs to advance our technology when we have slavery? And you know what? I agree. I mean, our, we basically still do that. What does he mean by this? Don't worry about it. Uh, let's run up. Attack. Can I attack twice? Hmm. I should probably turn it back to, to veteran, right? Even though this is still pretty easy. Because it's gonna get impossible. Somebody told me... Ah, I hate fucking difficulty settings, because I always want to do, like, hard shit, and it always backfires. Let's keep it on Torment for now. The problem is, the longer I keep it on Torment, the more you guys are going to call me a pussy when I turn it down. That And that is a real concern. But, uh, oh well. Overload. Do I heal, like, slowly? Okay, so you don't seem to get more... Hmm... Ah, uh, well, you're not gonna make it. But you'll kill. Yeah, like... I don't get health back over time, do I? Oh, fuck, I missed the obelisk. The, when, the worn writing on the obelisk is still legible. Quarantine Hall. All arrivals and departures must meet with a servant mind before proceeding. Yo, even in video games, I can't I can't escape the quarantine whenever I go somewhere. Perfect. This is why you shouldn't have chosen torment. Now you'll be the guy who pussied out. Yeah, see, that's the pro. Yeah. <sighs> the longer you're on torment, the better you get at playing the game. <laughs> uh, we'll try it. We'll try it. It's. Yeah, if I gotta be a pussy later, then... Wait, what? Can I... I can't talk to any of these things? What is that? A mad thad. <laughs> oh! You enter the ruin of a quarantine hall. It's not entirely abandoned. You see another feral creation in the far corner. A thin, mangy thad is leaning against a pillar, barely recognizing its surroundings. The bones of its prey litter the floor around it. A pathetic creature but dangerous. If you keep your distance, you might be able to slip around it. It can be evaded with stealth. Raise your stealth skill to reduce the distance that they see you. Okay. Alright, so we avoided it. I might come back to that. Thorns. Yo, even better shoes. The newer Yeezys. And, she okay, same shield. Lore, dude. Give me more lore, always. Notes on combat. 
Each round, your character gets a base of eight action points. If you don't have any action points left, you can do... If you have any action points left, you can do any action. Doing things consume action points, and when you're out, your turn ends. Moving and doing actions uses them up. Moving a space costs one point. Using ability costs five points, and attacking or using an ability costs nine points. Oh, so you don't need the full amount of points to do the to do an ability, because I we only have eight points. An ability costs nine, but that means if I had ten, I could do two abilities. Interesting. Okay. When you're next to a foe, you can only move one space for the rest of the turn. To end your turn early, select the space your character is in, or press the space bar. The order of which characters act in combat is determined by their speed. The more agility and quick action skill a character has, the faster it will act. Armor and weapons are heavy. Heavy equipment re equipment reduces your number of action points. Increase your strength. Okay, okay. Interesting. Do either of my guys have more action points? Where would I see that? Agility? No. Where would I find action points? Do they just always have... I mean, I assume there are special things that can give them more. Do they just not have any? They always have eight? Hmm... Uh, well, whatever. Uh, let me save. We're, I feel like we're making some progress. Uh, uh, mad Thad. Ooh, ooh, are these books real? No. Decorative books. Just like, just like women. It's been increasing, increasingly popular for women to... There's a website where you can buy books, like a whole bookshelf full of books, based on the color. So that you can, uh, so that you can decorate your house with the books. That's ridiculous. We, our civilization's gonna fall apart. Chad Thad. <laughs> Should've chosen Planescape Torment. Yo, someday, I, honestly. This is the quarantine waiting hall. People wishing to enter or leave Susia Island through this port waited here to be questioned and inspected by the servant mind. And sure enough, the mind is still here, resting to the north. Wait, what? I didn't see what. You marvel at the skill of shapers who shape these remarkable creatures. They were given remarkable lifespans. The thing is still alive. A servant mind is very specialized and useful sort of creature. Once grown, it never moves again. It spends its life in a stone crib made to fit. Once there, it spends its entire life thinking, remembering, analyzing, and advising the shapers. As you approach, you can see the struggle the creature struggle to rouse itself from its slumber. It seems likely that it is eager for company after its years here. The fuck? It's just some like fat little hamster thing. That's what they make their AI creatures <laughs> into. What a hellish existence! Oh, do you <laughs> I love it. You carefully approach the servant mind, unsure how its long solitude has affected its brain. Fortunately, its eyes are clear and bright, and its body appears whole. It has a massive, lumpy skull, characteristic of these strange creations. Welcome, Shaper. I am Mind Tavit, it says, reflexively reading from an internal script centuries old. Do you wish to pass through quarantine? Um, what happened? Are you alright? Are you okay? I am functioning properly. I can still do what I was made to do. You don't mind waiting here for so long? I... I... am functioning properly. I can still do what I was made to do. I was not made to have other thoughts. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> this game's writing is good already? <laughs> I have another question. Um, what happened to this island? I am sorry, Shaper. I am limited in the scope of my knowledge. When I was left here, I was given no further information or instructions. How long ago were you abandoned? I do not know. I spent all of that time in hibernation. The decay in my turtle organs indicate that the time was well over a century. I'm sorry that I cannot be more precise. How long ago since someone came by? You were the first since I was abandoned. Why was it abandoned? I do not know. I know a little of its purpose, but nothing of why it was le I was left here for so long. What's the purpose? Research. Not the most useful answer you could have hoped for. Uh, what do I have to do to pass through quarantine? Allow me to inspect you carefully. If I judge that you have no threatening infections or concealed rogue creations, I will unseal the door to the north so that you may pass. Allow me to pass. The creature looks at you carefully. It makes a low, soft humming noise. You don't feel anything, but you suspect some sort of magical augmentation is allowing the creature to analyze you in minute detail. Eventually, the noise ceases. 
Tabit says, I find no reason to impede your progress further. The exit door will open at your approach. That's all I need from you. Thank you, Shaper. I will rest and conserve my energy. Uh, yeah, uh, good luck for the rest of time there, dude. Uh, let's kill this fucker. Dead fat. Um, can I... So if I go, like, here, right? And just, like... What? Oh, I guess I'm in combat now. I didn't want to... I All I wanted to do was shoot a spell at him. Can I not, like... Is it impossible for me to uh, ambush people? Man, my fireball is not very good. Hopefully he attacks here. Yo, I can do attack twice? Quick action. Yo, what? Fucking pussy. Yo, he got fucking scared. Uh... Terrified, stunned. No! Hank! Okay, well... Get back here, you f Charizard. Whoa, whoa, leap. Um, let me just back up one. Enemy stops you. Uh, and then fireball. Okay. Flamethrower. Okay, we won. But at what cost? To ambush people, you have to start combat mode with their un while they're unaware. That's what I tried to. You just ambushed him. Oh, okay, it actually worked. Oh, okay, cool. Bones. I'll put that in my junk bag. Uh. Oh. I see. So now Hank is dead, and until I get to somewhere where I can replenish my, uh, my energy, I. That's it. It's a bit of a problem. Oh, there's a guy. Okay. I should just start quick saving instead of doing that. On this this side of the quarantine hall, you can see another flock of orcs watched over by a servile. Serviles are one of the greatest shaper creations. They're the most common and valued servants of your people. Intelligent, hardy, obedient, and featuring hands with opposable thumbs. They are easily controlled. Did we actually make a slave race of human beings? Shouldn't do that. Really shouldn't do. I, yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm uh, correct. About the, uh, about the serviles or whatever, like, like our create, the creations have clearly ro ro risen up against the people here. That's, don't spoil it, but subhumans, yeoman. Yes, sub subhumans. If there are serviles here, this island must not be as savage as you feared. Serviles are weak and easily cowed creatures. If there's any real threat here, they would have been quickly wiped out. Your emergence from this hall is clearly the last thing this servile expected. He looks terrified at first, then curious. He leaves his flock behind to run and speak with you. He probably wants fresh orders. I'll give him fresh orders, dude. I live to command. The servile boldly walks up to you. His name is Timo. Timo? You inspect each other. It seems to be the same design of creation from which you're completely familiar. Same hunched posture, number of limbs, and so on. He looks very surprised to see you. However, it doesn't have the attitude of immediate obedience that you've come to expect. It seems more curious than anything. After a few awkward seconds of staring, it speaks. Oh, I don't think I'm- I don't think I'm mad! I don't- I don't think I'm mad! It's a shaper! A shaper has come at last! Oh, it's been years, years since anyone has come through that door! A shaper has come! This is so wonderful! Oh, but where are my manners? I'm Timo. I'm a shepherd. I graze my oranks here because nobody comes here. Oh, I must go to Vakiri. I must tell my people that the Shaper has come at last. Um, tell me about Vakiri. It is our humble village. He points east. It is that way, not far. Not far. I should tell them a Shaper has come at last. Our home is humble and small, but with no Shapers around, we did what we could. Uh, I've been stranded. How can I get off? He looks worried. He clearly has no idea. Oh, I... I am a humble villager. I do not know how to leave. But in Vakiri, there are old and wise people. They can help you. That is odd. Timo is referring to his fellow serviles as people. Creations are called creations, not people. <laughs> Do you know why this island was abandoned? I have no idea. You should go to Vakiri. There are many wiser than there are many there wiser than me. I should go there now. Are there no shapers here? Timo grows even more nervous. I do not know. You were the only one. You were the shaper. You have returned the shaper. The Shaper. 
And we, we can serve. He seemed quite somewhat reticent about that last word. If you need food or a safe place to rest, though you may not be a shaper, but a guardian, but a guardian or agent, all three sects are referred to by the outside world as shapers. Oh, well, I'm a, I'm a shaper, so. Do you mind me killing your pigs? Not at all, shaper. We are yours to do with as you will. His worried expression, however, indicates that he actually feels otherwise about the issue. Hmm. Hmm. How do I treat this slave race? Do I tra treat them as somewhat equals, or do I... Or do I, uh, demand their total obedience? Hmm. Let me turn this down a little bit. This RuneScape music is distracting, dude. So, that's right. You had better serve me, or you will be disciplined harshly. Or, I will not require your total obedience. I will- I only need to leave this island, or I'll be moving on. Well... Right now, they seem to be ready to serve me. I don't want to fuck that- fuck with that. So at the moment, I'm going, that's- that's right, that's right. Before, Timo was nervous. Now he's openly terrified. Of course, he says meekly, of, of course we will serve. The might of the Shapers must always be obeyed. I'll be moving on then. Yes, Shaper. Timo steps out of your way, completely unsure what to do next. His entire world just changed in a moment. Conversation ends. Uh, okay. See you later, dude. Apparently I can kill his pigs. Let's try it out. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Free meat. Right? I don't know if I get anything from this. Probably EXP. <gasps> meat! Oh, they, do they all attack? No. Meat! Food on Susie Island is rough and simple, but it's enough to sustain life. Use food to eat it. You'll regain a little health. Oh, perfect. Okay. You can't equip this. Well, I'm trying to eat it. Huh? Eat it. Hey! What if I go click on you and can you eat? Seemingly no. Seemingly only I can eat. Okay, well that's not as good as it seems then. Actually. Um. Alright. Yo, I got an achievement. <laughs> Now that you've crossed the zone, it has been cleared. You'll be able to pass through it on the world map. If you want to review your notes and be reminded of your current quest, press the journal button. You'll be able to review special items you found, dialogue you recorded, codex you learned, quests you've been given. Um, you know, I, I guess I'll kill the rest of the pigs. Why not? I'm about to leave, so I should be safe otherwise. Let me check what this shit is. A hoe and a stick. Also, yeah, somebody pointed out that if it doesn't have a value on it, then it's worthless. <laughs> Thank you for a another gift sub, Taters. Appreciate it. Don't you not even sub yourself? That's it. <laughs> I don't mind, dude. Uh, yeah, so these broken batons are worthless. You can only remove it when you're in a... Well, I'll just go to a merchant. Whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's attack. Uh, use fireball. See, I click use fireball, but then it switches to him because he's faster. Which is just strange, but... All right. Want to use melee. Oh, attack. Oh, I'm gonna use up my thorns for no fucking reason. Yeah, no, wait, that's not smart. Uh, I don't know, it's a pig. Just go use melee, I'm sure you'll be fine. Roasted pork. Hell yeah. Did I get EXP for that? I don't think I got any EXP for that. So never mind, I'm not gonna do it do this anymore. The meat doesn't seem that worth it. They're probably gonna get mad at me. You get a you get lots of fucking thorns. Why kill all the pigs? Well I thought I got EXP, but I but I don't. Alright, Vakiri! Oh, that obelisk can't be read. But this sign can. You enter for the first time a colony of serviles on Susia Island. There's a good deal of astonishment on both sides. The creations seem to have done well on their own, much better than you would have suspected. They have moved into the Shaper ruins and made them their own. They have crops, shops, and guard patrols. The Serviles, in turn, are speechless. They have clearly been without Shaper influence for many years and have no idea how to react. 
They look overjoyed, relieved, and terrified at the same time. Most of all, though, they look expectant. They watch you carefully, gauging your every move, wondering how you're going to treat them. The power of the Shapers has always completely overwhelmed that of their creations. You, however, don't have the full power of the Shapers. You are weak, tired, untrained, and alone. Fortunately, they don't seem to know that. Yo, it's poker face time. It's time to bluff. The sign says, welcome to Vakiri. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? This servile is working hard to grow small green vegetables. You, you can tell they're serviles because they eat plants. The serviles are doing well considering the lack of human supervision. She bows. Welcome to my humble plot of land, Shaper. What are you raising? Just simple vegetables, not a creation, just ordinary food. Why'd she say it like that? It really makes me think. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'm looking for information. Is there anyone who can help me? You should have learned. You should talk to learn learned Pinner. She lives in the building back near the woods. Okay, return to your work. You are very kind. I am. I am. I will guide these people. Servile guard. Servile. You meet one of Akiri's guards. He's a servile, wielding an old, dented but very sharp sword. He bows nervously. Greeting, Shaper. How may I assist you? What are you guarding against? Rogue creatures are common in the woods north and east of here. Are these rogue creatures? Open your stats, please. Oh, well, wait a second. Uh, we never know when some of them will stumble into Vakiri. We must kill them before they do harm. Where can I find aid and information? Leader Kobar. Okay. Kobar and learned whoever the fuck. What did you want me to see? <laughs> I still have more stats. I just don't want to put stats into this yet until I've, uh... Until I know what I want to go into. I probably want to go into magic shaping, but I don't even have a magic shaping spell yet. So, it seems like that would be stupid at this point. Thorns and Mental Magic is my current build. I think I'm gonna, fic I'm gonna pick one of these shaping types, and then probably pick one of these. Ooh, Blessing. Is that a buff? Ooh. If I can get good buffs, I might go, like, Blessing and Battle. Ooh. I like that. I like that idea. Be a fucking a buff wizard. Brodus Blade! What a sick name. The bandits raid us. We watch you. You look hungry. This servile is, a, is muscular as a thad. She, are they all women? Are they all women? She is a massive creature, more than all remarkable... Hmm. So you're telling me that, uh... That a race of, uh... Genetically superior gods created a... Underclass subrace, and they made them mostly women. I guess it's realistic, you know. I <laughs> or are women the subrace? Hmm. The servile is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she notices how surprised you are by her physique. Oh, made remarkable when serviles are not made for feats of strength. I am Brodus. I am the. I am the Vakiri blade. I defend the serviles here from all threats. She puts extra emphasis on the all. If you mean us peace, I welcome you on behalf of myself and the awakened. You defend against all threats? Even me? I do not believe that you wish to threaten us. I am not some taker. I believe that the shapers are always to believe- I am not some taker to believe that the shapers are always evil. Is there a- Is there a- like a cult in this game of people who believe the shapers are evil? Who have- Ooh, okay, interesting, interesting. But be warned, if you threaten us, your powers will not stop us from acting against you. Your blade? What does that mean? Me to defend the serviles here from all threats. I am the leader of the guard and the first to fight. With all threats we have faced recently, I am kept very busy. You're very muscular for a servile. <laughs> what a weird thing to say to this woman. I am the way you created me. I think I am descended from one of the few strains of serviles raised to fight. My kind hunts pests and beasts. I can help you with your struggles. Yeah, maybe. I could get a quest. We hope that when you shapers returned, you could help us. But do not think your help will make us willingly return to servitude. There is a tri- These fucking insubordinate- This bitch. There's a tribe of inu inutile servile bandits to the north. They are strong fighters and cunning. They raid us. They take our food and weapons and wealth. They do not kill, but they take our food. It's a struggle. 
end their raids. If you have to kill them all to do so, so much the better. We can't destroy them without losing many of our own, but you have the powers of a shaper. You should be able to destroy them with no difficulties. There's a pack of inatile servants? Yes, I know you see all of us as rogue. These bandits are worse. We awakened will deal with you, shaper. The rogues will hunt and kill- oh, will deal with you. The rogues will hunt and kill you. Where'd they come from? Some of the three servile villages develop poorly. They don't fit in. They have to be expelled. The Inutile, they're called. You're familiar with it. It's a shaper term. So, even among the sub-race, they, they get rid of the degenerates. <laughs> I really like the idea of these people who have rebelled against their against their superior masters who have gone against the their you know their label as a lesser race but still pick parts of them who are like yeah no that guy is still a lesser being though like we're good but he's a lesser being uh i we, we're not against the idea of racism we just think we're better than though them and we need to make sure that distinction <laughs> is, uh, is understood. Some in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Others are full of, uh, some in a tile form peaceful settlements. Others are for, f full of rage and greed. They hunt. Gonna maybe deal with them. They're foul brigands. They make our children go, bet, go to bed hungry. For once, the way you shapers treat rogues will be appropriate. I have another question. What do you mean you're awakened? I should not. I believe it with all my heart, but that doesn't mean I'm a good teacher of it. Talk to Sensia. She might be the best among us at explaining the path. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let me look. It seems I healed, by the way. Um, oh, yeah, and I have my, I have my essence back. Alright, let's get another... Just in case. I doubt I'm gonna get attacked in this, in this town. But it's not impossible. Instead of the haste, I might... Might give him endurance instead, just so he can block some attacks. Uh, ah, fuck! You gotta go all the way. I'll name this one uh, Agumon. Agumon. We accept our fate. Leader. Okay, that's the leader. The kitchen and the elite dining hall. Can I steal? Oh, and not yours. This is not your property. If you steal it, when a friendly character can see you, you might anger the town. But fruit is communal. Hell yes, dude. Communism. That's the nice thing about ex-slaves. They get shitty, stupid forms of government that make it very easy for me to steal shit from them. Or at least food. Uh, let's talk to Sensia. I want to know about the... Ooh, 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 ooh. Awakened Wishes. One of the Awakened... We of the Awakened have fair requests. When the Shapers return, we, they will be presented in the spirit of openness and good wishes. Any creation with the presence to say, I am a thinking free being, must become one. A free thinking... Cre what is this rights of man shit? A, think a free thinking creation will be bound by the same laws as a common and be punished for crimes in the same way. A free thinking creation will be able to sell goods and labor freely and be bound by the same laws as a common. A free-thinking creation capable of magic can apply to learn this power according to this... Can apply to learn this... They're going to learn magic? Yo, um... I don't like the idea of that. I don't like the idea of the slave class getting the power to create slaves. Hello, Shaper. Uh, hey, what's up? This servile woman is tending to a row of pallets in the old hall. She looks up at you strangely. There is none of the expected awe and fear in her eyes. She looks at you as if you were merely another servile. It's very strange. She says, I am Sensia, Sensia of the Awakened. I welcome you to our humble home, Shaper. You serviles speak very well. Who taught you to speak like that? She is slightly offended by the question. Who taught us? We did. After the Shapers left our isle, we still knew how they spoke. We started to speak that way ourselves. We knew that Shapers think very little of us. That's why I was awakened. Some of us, though, do not speak as well. They do not have aspirations. Who doesn't speak well? Well, if you meet Clackett, he does not give too much weight to... Do not give too much weight to what he says or how he speaks. He is, well, he is one of us. 
but he is foolish, and he speaks foolishness. Do not judge me worse because of him. I have another question. You said you were awakened. Tell me more. We are a sect of serviles led by the mighty Elthra. We believe that we serviles must stand up for ourselves, be proud, claim our intelligence and our birthright, and look at you shapers as our equals. I mean, I we literally created you, right? Like, like, there's, it's like you're... We know that many shapers will not approve of this. We will accept the consequences of this. If you'd like to learn more, you should speak with Elhra. Tell me about Elhra. He's the founder of the Awakened. He is our creator. He... No, that's me. No, like, we do that. I did that. I... I... Not me, necessarily, but like... We created you, right? He is old now. He was the first one to stand up and tell us that we should look out for ourselves. Okay, kill him and it'll break the entire organization. Got it. Let me get a drink. Creator of the sect, not creator of the race. Right, but it's a weird... It's a weird phrase. Like... Already we've pointed... This game has pointed out... That, uh... That... The, the words people use in this game are important. The fact that someone said cre uh, person instead of creation was pointed out explicitly. Like, they're not supposed to say that shit. That's not what they would normally say. And so this feels like another one of those. Like, they didn't say founder. They said creator. Don't piss these guys off yet. No spoilers. Don't fucking say anything. Uh, shapers have abandoned us. And that made us free. You should speak with him. He lives to the east in the fortress past Watch Hill. What's your job? Elbert asked me to stay here and look after the serviles here to guard them. They are of the awakened, but sometimes they return to their weak old shaper worshipping ways. Ah. Ah, I can take advantage of that. Usually it is simple, but sometimes there are difficulties. Are you having difficulties now? She looks around to make sure nobody's eavesdropping. I suspect that there is a Taker spy in this village. The Takers are a dangerous rogue sect to the east. They want to ferment rebellion against the Shapers. An ugly, pointless war. Fuck, these fuckers are fu are are bold, alright? So the two races, the two sects we found so far, one wants equal rights to God, and the other one wants to overthrow God. God being me, clearly. Sometimes they attempt to stir up trouble here. If you found the spy and brought him to my attention, the awake Awakened would thank you. Interesting. Do you survivors all live here? No, all of Akiri lives in your old buildings. Many of us live in these barracks, and others, those of rank and stature... Rank? Rank? This game's got some depth. This is interesting. Rank. So, they still believe... This is another example where, like, they still believe... In, in rank, right? Like, like we're the same as creators. But, I mean, like, that guy isn't as good as me. And I'm not as good as that guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's interesting. They're still class. <laughs> Alright. Uh, another, a warrior servile. I'll check him out, I guess. Uh, no. Same stuff. Okay. Uh, let me check this box. Ooh, a sword, but I don't want to steal. Uh, Inergi. Inerni. Inerni wears the traditional long robes of the Serviles, oddly similar to Shaper robes. All colors and- oh wait. Hers are dotted with a wide variety of food stains, all colors and sizes. She's bustling around her kitchen, preparing huge meals to feed the Serviles who live in these halls. As she walks by, she says, I'm Inerni. Welcome to my kitchen. You look hungry. Um, I am hungry. Can I get some food? Surprisingly, Inerni isn't just giving you food. The serviles here believe in fair trades for all goods, even with shapers. Price is very expensive. You can fuck off, dude. Um, what do you serviles eat? What does anyone eat? Mostly vegetables grown, <laughs> grown here, here and foraged. Mo some bread, some meat from the orange tree rays. All of it is raised or found by us with no shaper help. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you an awakened lecture here. Looks like you're hard at work. Oh, yes, I don't cook for any of the serviles, but I make... Meals for all who have, haven't been mated. Mated. I guess that's what they... I guess they have some sort of marriage ritual here. 
interesting. Yeoman, they don't want equal rights for shapers. They want equal rights to commons. Commons are not shapers. Stop telling me this shit. Stop. That's a spoiler. I didn't know that. They never mentioned that in the game yet. Stop. I mean, that makes sense, but I just assumed common was as in the common man, which a shaper was a part of. But I, so, so don't, don't tell me that shit. The game did tell you that already. No, it didn't. Did it? It just said commons. It, it, it didn't tell me what commons were. Uh, it would have been easier if my best knife hadn't been stolen. It was true steel, hardened by magic, a true shaper. I'm just saying it to you in particular, Jason, because I know you've actually played this game and you're literally the only one. So, <laughs> I would pay, I would pay well to, or no, wait, there's like one or two others but that have played it. I would pay well to have it back, but oh well, a brigand probably took it. Any chance it's still here? Maybe. I've searched well for it, but it's possible a servile here borrowed it. Brigands? Pah! Those rogues, serviles are a curse. Brodus Blade can tell you more. Uh, I don't need anything else. Change your prices. We will be free, he says. Unlike the others, this muscular servile does not fear you. Well, like half the people I've talked to so far, um, haven't done, haven't feared me, so... They want, for example, the ability to apply for magical educations. Yeah, they did say that. Yeah, yeah. Rather than being treated like shapers. Well, but if you can get a magical education, doesn't that mean you become a shaper? Isn't that like the first step? Or how does that... I thought that was... Don't answer this question. But... <laughs> or if he does, he doesn't show it. He sizes you up, trying to figure out whether you're a help or a threat to the serviles under his care. A sword hangs from his belt, which is shocking. Serviles are not allowed weapons. He bows to you. What is going on with his face there? He bows to you, a very short, sharp motion, all the time keeping his eyes on you. Welcome to our home. I am Leader Kobar, proud awakened, and chosen leader of the tribe of Vakiri. It is a pleasure to have the Shapers among us again at last. You cannot fail to notice the way Kobar emphasized the word leader. Or the lack of enthusiasm, he said in putting the, in saying the last sentence. Interesting. Tell me about Vakiri. After the Shapers abandoned us, we serviles struggled for survival. Most of us were unable to live without your commands. Some of us were selected by cruel nature to be allowed to survive. We have formed three villages on Susi Island that I know of. We know little of the wild northern half of the island. Uh, tell me more. When and why was this abandoned? I deal with the now and the future. I'd leave it to others to worry about the past. You should talk to Learned Peener. He, she loves your kind more than is safe. She will gladly share all her limited knowledge with you. What are the other vo villages you know of? To the east is Pentil. They're a feckless lot. Servile and weak. You will like them. I literally thought to myself when I read Servile and Weak. Oh, g cool. <laughs> I should go there first and recruit them. So he's right. Uh, Jason, fucking chill out. We're on Twitch. You know you can't. You know you 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 literally. I know it's. I know it's weird because it's like you can't. E no, it's not even that weird. Chill out. <laughs> Optics, if that lets you frame it better in your mind. Cool it with the anti-Semitic remarks. That's exactly the way that needed to be phrased. Yes, thank you. I've been banned on Twitch before. I'm not gonna have it happen again. <laughs> to the east, there's Pentel. Yeah, okay. Past Pentel is Kaz. You may want to avoid them. They are martial and have no love for shapers. They hate you and fear you. Okay, so we got one group that's willing to deal with us. Like trading and like treating each other almost as equals. We got another group that will probably serve me. And a third group that will, uh, that will attack me. Interesting. Got it. Um, you don't know about the north half of the island? To the north is a harsh wasteland full of rogue claw bugs and vlish. There we do not go. The northeast is full of mountains, well protected by shaper creations and traps. Beyond we cannot go. In those places you might find anything. Ooh, ooh. In these places we could find anything. <laughs> I can't say. What is it? What's the original? With a car you can go anywhere. I have another question. Uh, there could be creations here. Uh... I want to learn about the tribes. Of course, you need to survive and escape. We have, I didn't tell you that. I didn't tell you that. We have an interest in your being here. Oh, I did tell the other guy, so he could have relayed that. The rogue creations have grown more dangerous in recent years. I choose to guide you and hope that you benefit the serviles trapped here. 
When the Shapers abandoned us, we Serviles had to find our own ways and beliefs. As the years passed, we split into three sects. The Awakened, the Obeyers, and the Takers. Tell me about the Obeyers, those sound promising. They're the ones who wish to follow. They're ones who worship your kind as gods. You'll find them in Pentil to the east, as obedient and pliable as you could possibly wish. We are not find, fond of them. I'd like to contact them. You should. Pentil is to the northeast. Their leader is called Rydel. I'm sure he, they will give you a friendly welcome and all the groveling you desire. I hope you can help them. They're weak-minded but not evil. Tell me who the takers. They're the mad ones of Kosk, the takers of free. <laughs> The Takers of... Not, not a good name. Not the best name. But they are a sub-race of lesser beings, so... You know. Can't judge them too harshly. Actually, we can, because they don't have any rights. We can judge them as harshly as we want. Right. Never forget it. They were... Uh, they have been warped by the cruelty of their lives here. They were made by the Shapers, and that now they wish to overthrow them. They wish to separate from the Shapers completely. And if the Shapers attempt to deal with them, they will wish to die fighting. They are mad. We have no worship for the Shapers, but we do not hate them either. We wish to be equal, that is all. I would like to point out that uh, it was being told that they did not want to be equal to the Shapers, and here this guy is saying literally word for word, we wish to be equal to the Shapers. <laughs> but apparently I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'd like to contact them. You will have to be careful. If, they don't show them, if you don't show them respect, they'll probably attack you. They're a little mad. Causes a long journey to the east. Their leader is Noral. She might speak with you. I think she knows more about the north half of the island than we do. Tell me about the Awakened. All in this village are the of the Awakened sect. We have been awakened from the dark sleep of Shaper Mastery. Our eyes are open. We wish to deal with the Shapers as equals, with friendship and gratitude. But we will not be slaves to you any longer. Be wary. If you anger the Awakened, this town will no longer be open to you. Hmm... Hmm, I'm amused by your aspirations, but I doubt we shapers will be supportive. Or, this is a strange new belief, but I f hear some wisdom in it. I doubt the shaper- this one, it says we. It's not saying that I'm against it, necessarily, so I'm still being a little diplomatic, but I am saying, like, I don't know about that one. Kobar is furious! You abandon us here to die! To suffer, to starve, and you dare con condescend to me? He pats the pommel of his sword. It's still shocking to see serviles with weapons. Hear me, Shaper. You made us. We owe much to you. But you Shapers, with all your might, all your power, all your wisdom, are not immune to steel. You will shred us. You will mow us down like wheat. But we will win. I have another question. It would be a pleasure to speak with you further. <laughs> what dangers do you, do you face? Hunger, cold, rogue creations, all the many perils you shapers abandon us to. He pauses for a moment, thinking. Then he says, you know something? We serviles are not as foolish as you think. We can plan and we can trade. Not very well, you fucking ridiculous prices here. I can't help but notice you are lacking supplies. If you'd like some of our uh, of your awesome shaper power, if you'd use some of our your awesome shaper power to aid us instead of crush us, I could provide you with useful goods, a fair trade. Does that appeal to you? I'll trade with you. What do you want? It's an easy task. The main road to the east passes by Watch Hill. I need to gain power before I can crush them into the dirt, which I might do. I don't know. <laughs> We suspect that something or someone. Oh, wait, wait, wait. the main road that to the east passes by Watch Hill. It is the road to the fortress of Elhra, leader of the Awakened. And recently, almost overnight, Watch Hill has become infested with rogues. We suspect that something or someone is creating them. There are too many there to be accounted for by random migration. We suspect old Shaper magic has been reawakened. Yo, okay. It's like on one... I kind of understand how, like... I mean, I, I understand. How, like, these guys have been abandoned by their gods, more or less, you know, uh, for, for, like, a century, so they've kind of taken the power, you know. That makes sense. But it is interesting that they don't sort of reconsider their position when new versions, excuse me, of themselves are being created. Yo, wait a minute. I just realized that person earlier said mated. That they make food for the people who aren't mated. Do they reproduce? 
Do these creations reproduce? Don't answer if you know the answer. Don't answer any of these questions. But I'm thinking out loud here. That's fucking wild if they reproduce. Although I guess the pigs probably reproduce. And those are creations. So it's not impossible. But does that mean... So if I create these two lizards, I can then absorb them later, right? But if they have sex with each other and have a child, can I absorb the child? How does that work? Do I still have complete dominion over them? Or do I only have complete dominion over the first generation that I myself created? Could I only absorb their parents? Big thonk. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking here. Uh, go and remove the source and we'll pay you. Why do you say it's an easy task? He's confused. You're a shaper. They're creations. How can they stand against you? <laughs> I am very happy they still see the ultimate power that I have that I don't have. His faith is touching, but he overestimates what you can do against a large, fairly, fully rogue creation. What sort of rogues? We've seen Thads and Fioras. Minor creations, but very dangerous to us. They all seem new. Young and fret. Okay, so they're not humans. Okay. Free of humans, quote-unquote. Free of scars. It's very strange. Most rogues on Susia are old, battered creatures. Why can't you kill them? You did not make most serviles to fight. Our strain was created to farm and to carry. We don't have the strength to easily defeat you and or your... Defeat your other creations. Uh, another question. I wish to leave. I require a boat. I'd like to help you, Shaper. We're a trading people, and we require your help as well. You can assist us. Sometime you can speak with me of the danger we face. We face. I was stranded here because of a large ship destroyed my craft. Who would do such a thing? I do not know. Who would attack a Shaper in such an open and foolish way? Only the mad attract the wrath of the Shapers. In this, I wish I could help you. Such provocations can't be good for anyone. Not even the wild serviles of Cog Cog would do such a thing. You might not find the answer to this mystery here. Okay, that's all. We will be free. I like how he just he just sits there talking to himself all day. We will be free. 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 Um I can steal because they can't see me, right? I'm not sure how the mechanics work exactly, but it said that if they see me when I steal, then they get mad. So if I sack of edible meal the plants it came from benefited from the modifications of Shaper Magic. So yeah, I mean, free food, right? And free coins! Yeah? Yo! Are we playing Av Avedon or whatever now? What's what's the other game this guy, this developer made? The, the game that's like all underground? Yo! What the fuck? Okay, he just shielded himself. Um, okay, Charizard, flamethrower. Okay, decent damage. Uh, you run up. Ah, oh, but you can't attack this turn. Um, I don't have any thorns. Let's just use a ma let's just use a fireball. A crit, nice. Oh, fuck! Okay, okay, but it's fine. Flamethrower. Another flamethrower. He's terrified. What a fucking pussy. All right. Um, heal for 5 to 9, 20 to 60. Well, I'm going to die this turn if I don't do that. And then, uh, fireball. If I could kill, that'd be great. I didn't. It's a good thing I healed. Fuck! Flamethrower. Does the poison go away now? I'm dead! No! Mortally wounded, your power drained, you fall to the ground. One of the many threats of Susia Island has claimed you. Without you to intervene, the secrets and conspiracies on the island come to a head. Deadly forces pull out, pour out of this tiny island, and your people are forced to fight a devastating, terrible war. None of this matters to you, of course, because you're dead. Oh. Yeah, so it seems that, uh... It seems that we're, uh, this is actually hard. <laughs> the hardest difficulty is, in fact, hard. Do I heal up? Mm. Mm. Right-click 
uh, creation, note the creation level. Yeah, I know. So what I might want to do instead, I, cr I tried to create like really high level, really strong monsters, but what might make more sense, honestly, is to, is to like Zerg them. So, um, recover half its essence cost. Only half? Ah, fuck. So I don't want to, I don't want to mess with their abilities right now then. Shit. All right. Well, um, I can try this again. Control level, not creation level. Yeah, I know. Yeah, very poor. I know. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. He died to a magical squirrel. A Varnum. Yeah, that's the game I was thinking of. Oh, no, wait, but Exile is the underground one. Yeah, you're right. Or are they both? I don't know. Let me see. Okay. Flame. Attack. You can only try to attack a foe that you can see. Okay, I got the first hit. That's very good. And I'm gonna fucking flee. Here we go, dude. That's how you survive right there, is you be a big fucking pussy. I can stay on the hardest difficulty for a little bit, I think. I should get some healing spells eventually. Alright, so he's almost dead, but that's fine. I think if we return to town, it seemed like we got all our essence back and shit when we returned to town. So, this should be fine. As long as I can kill this thing. You fucking coward! Ah, shit. Uh... I'm gonna use one of these crystals, I think. Too far away... Or not- Ah! Fucking joking. <sighs> well, let's try this actually. If I absorb, absorb creations, I'm so sorry, Agumon. And then I go back up. Nope, I don't have all of my essence back. Okay, never mind. I did heal when I came in here, but I did not get my essence back. And I don't, I haven't seen anything to get essence back, so I don't want to risk that. Alright. Let's try this one more time. I bet I can do this, honestly. Like, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can do this. Oh, mushrooms? Ooh, okay. Look, there's like shit over there. All right, okay. What I need to do is I need to, I need to attack like once, you know, like. Um, move up. Okay, good damage, good damage, good start. Now you run up, and now you throw a fireball, and then run away. You see what I'm saying? Oh, I should spread out, maybe. Oh, okay, now he's shielded. All right. Not as much damage. Makes sense. Attack. Yo! Fucking sick. Fucking sick crit, dude. Hell yes. I'm a master. He didn't drop anything. Well, that's fine. Ooh, what is that? A living tool. Living tools are actual living organisms. They have several long, thin tentacles, which are ski which a skilled shaper can manipulate to open or repair mechanical devices. Sick. Very nice. So I got a lockpick, basically. Yo, I took no damage that time. That was actually nice. Uh, mushroom, and then yeah, it looks like there's some stuff over here. Not yours, bolt of cloth. I don't care. Um, broken baton, metal pot. Okay, well, is that all I got? There's gotta be something up these stairs. Let me see. Uh, uh, success. The Awakened will trade. Coal. What does that do? You need more living tools to move it. Huh. Ooh, I can't. Nah. Alright, what's up? You are accustomed to seeing expressions of greed and cunning in the eyes of humans. To see such an entrepreneurial zeal in the eyes of a servile is unexpected and unnerving. So they're not humans, to be clear. We are. They aren't. You heal and regain essence when you when you enter the town. I didn't a second ago. Oh, leave the town and re-enter. Oh, got it. Okay, might do that then. Uh, the servile walks up to you eagerly. Shaper or not, this servile wants to trade. Welcome, Shaper. I am Cole. 
Well, welcome to my trading post. I exchange goods with sentient beings all over Susia Isle. Never meant a servile shopkeeper before. Well, in the absence of the shapers, we had to make we had to fend for ourselves. That means growing and making what we need to survive. That means trade. I deal in both servile made goods and shaper artifacts. I know nothing about why the shapers left us, but thankfully they left much behind. I got attacked by an artilla in the tunnels under your shop. Hmm? Oh, yes. Those burying acid spitting rogues? Yeah, we get those. <laughs> ah yeah, you know it happens. You trade with other settlements in Susia? Yes, I have contacts with on Pen in Pentel and even Kosk. We traded for a while. When the roads were blocked by hordes of rogue creations... Oh, then. The, we lost contact with the other merchants. If you go to the other villages and meet serviles named Pixley and Arth, please let me know. I have plenty of supplies and I'll gladly pay for useful information. I want to sell something. Sell junk bag. I made eight dollars. I made... I made eight dollars. Cool. Uh, is there crafting in this game? Should I keep some of this shit? I need supplies. Cole's goods, while inferior to anything back home, could help you survive in the wilderness of Susi Island. His goods are a mix of savage shaper debris and servile made weaponry. Uh, what does a candle do? Light source. Huh. Better armor could be good, because I am quite weak. Venom thorns. Hmm. And then Tranquil, I guess, puts it to sleep. Hmm. I don't know. How much money do we have? 188. I'm going to save it for now. But I'll come back. Uh, wait, he didn't sell living tools, right? I don't think so. Uh, no. No, he doesn't. I would consider buying those. Well, let's keep looking around. Cole's Armory. I listen of you. <laughs> clack it, no secret. A young, dirty servile walks right up to you and looks at you in the eyes. I clack it. Glad see. Me no thing. Secrets. His attitude's not what you're used to, but he uses the sort of speech you've come to expect from serviles. This is how they usually talk. Why don't you talk like the other serviles? I smart like them. I know dumb. I know talk shaper. No like, not like you. I servile talk. Choice. Ah. I want to learn secrets. Did he lower the difficulty already? Nope. No, dude. You shaper, want you happy? You ask, I talk. Venom th thorns require a, a venom baton, if I remember correctly. Oh, good to know. So not worth buying just for that. Got it, got it. Uh, where can I find a boat? Leader Kobar, he point right way. He didn't fucking tell me. Why is this island barred? Learned Pinner. She points where you go learn secret. What is around here? East are two villages. First is servants. Next is danger. North is deadly desert with many rogue creatures. Be afraid there. My craft was attacked. Who did it? There are invaders on this island. That what I know. No more... No more... No, no more than that. Secrets answered to East. I have another question. What sort of things do you know? I travel. Listen. Talk. Learn things. Want help you. Know what servile think of you. No, you crime if you crime. No secrets. What sort of crimes have I committed? Servile not know you. Servile see big clumsy shaper. Maybe rogue, maybe not. Or not. We wait and see. Oh. What do the serviles think of me? Servile nervous. You make think you want servile be slave, not free. How do you learn so much? So I, so I can use this uh, retard... To uh, let me know how my what my standing is among the cl among the uh, among the serviles. Interesting. Clackett walks town to town through wilds. Servile hate other servile, but all servile like Clackett. <laughs> <laughs> Share secret to all. Send news. Useful. Get food for it. Um. Sensia said I should ignore you. Sensia thinks she's smart. There many way be smart. I watch. Listen. This I know. Sensia need listen. Her big talk make her no listen. All right, Clackett, thanks. It's a useful, it's a useful person to know. Let me see if I can. I could probably steal, but there's nothing worth it. And that guy probably would see me. And Clackett would maybe see me. It's a big town. Fuck! I didn't think there's actually gonna be this much. Uh, nope. Lore. 
Terrestia's leaders. There are two sorts of humans, shapers and common. Okay, interesting. Yo, so even among humans, there are also sub sub races. Clack it, no waste time, big word, need for big thought. <laughs> Uh, the common are the regular folks of Terrestia. Peasants, soldiers, tinkers, ordinary humans. They form their own cities, organizations, and political hierarchies. They are mostly allowed to rule Terrestia. Everything they do is subject to appro approval or rejection by the Shapers, though the Shapers rather bother rarely bother to interfere. The rule of the Shapers is light, but firm. The common can learn magic, but are forbidden from attempting the Shaper arts upon penalty of death. Oh, so these slave people, these serviles want to be able to do that. They just want to be able to learn normal magic, like fireball and shit, magic missile. But they don't want to, not summoning spells, that's forbidden. Got it. To become a shaper, the common must pass a series of t difficult tests as a child. Being accepted as a shaper is rare. There are no second chances. Mm -hmm. So I did that. Cool, dude, I'm a cool dude. Is there anything worth stealing? Fruit. Hmm. I'm not gonna steal anything that's not, like, valuable, because I'm a little afraid of- Why does that- Does the orc always have a blue name? Can this one talk or something? No. <laughs> Alright. I'm just retarded, don't mind me. Disarm trap. You're able to tell that this box is a trap, but your mechanic skill isn't high enough to disarm it. Do you want to open it anyway? No. That's how they- Ooh, didn't mean to attack. Just want to check what was here. Okay. That's how they fucking catch me red-handed stealing their shit. I want these people to be my slaves. Probably. So that does involve me, like, getting on their good side more than likely. It means either fear or respect I will need from them. But, uh, not... I, I don't... I obey no longer. But I don't need them to be mad at me for stealing, so... This servile is large and round under her robe, far more than you've ever seen. Great. This see, this is this is what happens when you let the lesser races go their own way. They degenerate. There were no fat serviles back when back when we ruled them. None. She'd be happier and healthier under my control. I still don't know if that's the path I'm going to go, but I kind of like that path so far. We'll see. This servile is large and round in her robe. Yeah, yeah. Unusual. When she sees you, she grins, showing a mouthful of healthy teeth. When she bows to you, you notice she wears gold rings and a jeweled necklace. Clearly, some serviles are wealthier than others. Welcome, Shaper. I am Dreet of Vakiri, recently a Pentel. You're from Pentel. Up until recently, then I came here. I wish to join the Awakened. I was tired of the serviles of Pentel and their obeyer gibberish. They were originally made to we were originally made to serve, yes, but that time has passed. We obey mindlessly no longer. Tell me about the obeyers. They believe that shapers are the true masters and that to be happy, they must follow and obey you in all things. I came here to claim fealty to the awakened. We believe that we must rise and face you shapers as equal. We know there's risk in this path, but we also know that it is what we must do. You don't wish to serve, then why are you called serviles? Fucking checkmate, atheist! That was a difficult decision. It was the name you gave us. We did not know whether we should keep it. Finally, we chose to. It reminds us of who we are and where we came from. But we on this island, we will not be servants again. You belong to the Awakened now. Yes. We should learn more of the Awakened, find Sen Sensia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have another question. Dreet is constantly friendly to you. Almost obsequious. Obse that's how you pronounce that, right? She idly turns one of her rings around on her finger as she speaks. Are you wealthy? What is wealth? <laughs> that means yes. <laughs> None of us serviles are truly wealthy. All of us have what we can scavenge and what we grow. Like your fucking ghoul gold jewelry. But in the sense that I have more goods to trade for things I want, I suppose I'm wealthy. What sort of things do you own? She points to the door to the west wall. Well, there's an artifact back there that we serviles can't use. It would kill us. But I suspect that it'd be useful for you. For 200 coins, I would unlock the door for you. I'm a shaper. You want to barter with me? I demand that you open the door, or else! I'm not sure about that one. Um, 
If she just gets a little mad, then, you know, not a problem. If, if she really... Hmm. Uh... Let's see how serious this game takes takes it. I have another question. All right, uh, are you wealthy? What sort of things do you own? Open that shit. Shaper, I am awakened. I will not be your slave. Attack me if you want, but I will not submit to threats. Get out of my house and only return when you will treat me with respect. If I stole the money they have, I'd have enough. Okay, die. Well, if I attack her, do they all attack me? Time to find out. Time to find out. Insolent fool! Wait, what? They didn't drop the key? Yo, are you fucking kidding? So even if I do kill, I don't get to I don't get to I don't get to go in here, so I have to pay. I have to pay to get the item. Right? Okay, well, it's worth knowing, though. Does everyone else go go mad at me? Oh! Yep. Yep, that would make everyone mad at me. Okay, it makes everyone... Oh, excuse me. It makes everyone mad at me, and I can't go in there unless I pay her. So, that's fucking stupid. Uh, Alright, well, I'll come back when I have $12 more. Because I do want whatever fucking shit she's talking about. Unless it's a scam. I will avoid save scumming, though. The only times I like, you know, doing save scumming is when, like, I'm figuring out how the game works. Like, what, what are the, what, what are the mechanics? Like, does everyone attack me when I kill one of them? Now I know, yes. Does, uh, can I get into this door if I kill her? Now I know, no. Which I definitely would not have guessed. I would have thought it would, but so now if I run into somebody and I'm, like, hostile to them and they attack me... Probably we're just gonna say, like, well, I fucked up. <laughs> there there we go. Guess that's how this game's going. Uh, what's up, Ham? He just said we have learned your secrets. Good excuse, Yeoman. I support you. Save scum combat. I did do that. It's not save scum when I died. When you die and load a save, that just means you died. It, I'm not playing permadeath. That's different. <laughs> this servile's robes are heavily stained. And in places, dissolved. This little house is packed with equipment and supplies to make pods and spores. Even considering what you've already seen, this is a little shocking. Working magic, even alchemy, is reserved for shapers alone. What? I thought commons could do that. Or is it saying working magic, as in a certain type of magic called working magic? Or does it mean as opposed to serviles? It's still a weird way to say it. Because if, if commons can also do magic then it's very misleading to say it's reserved for shapers alone. But I understand, I guess because on this island, the only people that would live here would be serviles and shapers. So on this island, the only people who could do it would be shapers alone. I think that's why it's phrased weirdly like that. The servile bows to you, completely unashamed. He says, welcome, shaper. Welcome at last. I am Ham. Welcome to my home. You know how to make pods? How? I'm glad you asked. When you shapers left, we left you left many things behind, like equipment and a school. This was long ago. We had many years to study your writings and artifacts. We had no choice. It was for survival. Where'd you find... I'd like to say, you know, that doesn't justify you viola violating our laws, but what is it? what am I going to do? Stop him? Like he's going to like stop his business now? There's no point in saying that, and I'd like to know where he found them because I want to find more. They're all over. He points to the box in the corner. I found that in the ruins recently, but I can't get the lock open. We awake and believe in fair trades. If you can find a way to get the box open, I'll pay you for your time. I'm sure you could use more supplies. Why don't you just smash it open? Because some of your artifacts are very fragile. If they break, much can be lost. Also, sometimes your artifacts explode when shaken. Did you try picking the lock? Of course, it's too complicated. You'll need to use living tools. Serviles have a hard time using those. They don't respond well to us. That's because you're a lesser being. I have another question. Um... Need to buy any supplies? Uh, so we can sell stolen goods. That's very sick. I'm going to sell this bolt of cloth. I'm going to sell these sandals. He has no interest in this item. It's not valuable enough. I'm gonna, oh. It has value though, right? Oh no, it doesn't. Oh, I see. Uh, I'm going to sell... Uh, I guess that's it. I didn't take that stuff underground. I just realized... 
I could use supplies. I couldn't, actually, but... Healing, curing... I assume, uh... I assume heals poison. Speed, okay. Healing spores, so that's my whole party. Spray crystal. Bolt of energy, and there's that cloth I sold to him. Okay. I have 191, still not enough. Uh, let's try and get this shit open. If you don't have enough living tools, you need two. I could just use one of my level ups to get enough mechanics right now, but that feels like a waste. I still, like, if I wanted the most power right now, I would certainly just go into fire shaping to make these guys better. Although, on the other hand, I'm so such a low level that they'll be even less likely to obey me if I did that. So maybe not, that might not even be a good idea. I'm considering getting rid, rid of these two creatures and trying more of a Zerg strategy. Because one, yeah, one of them costs six essence, and I have 30 essence. So instead of these two good ones, I could have five lesser ones that are more loyal to me and that I can just Zerg rush with. Which makes some sense to me, actually. I'm, I think I'm going to try that from now. I'm going to, I'm going to save. But, uh, I like the idea of that. Oh, wait. I'm just going to say mechanics is very good. That's what I figured. That's why I'm already, uh, invested in it. I'm so sorry, Charizard. Oh, come on. Okay, let's go. Yes. So, now go back. Right? Hey, nice! Okay, cool. So, I want to create a basic one. I'm gonna name him Charizard 2. Right? Basic fucking guy. Put a lightning bolt for rush tactics. Create another one. This is gonna be... Agumon 2. Lightning Bolt. Another one. Give them all innate haste. Ooh. But then I can only make... Four of them. Four with innate haste? Or two... Or five without? Oh, dude, innate haste, though. No, dude, I, that's, that's fucking smart. Yeah, I want to try that. I want to try the actual Blitzkrieg tactics. Because then they might be able to attack twice per turn. Yeah, that's fucking amazing. Yeah, let's do it. And twice per turn, that's better than having uh, one additional shitty one, you know? So, yeah, I like that idea. I like this game is actually having some, some strategy here. Oh, it shows what my... Find spy, find stole knife, open hands box. Oh, nice, dude. It shows my quest on the on the map. That is very nice. Make creation. Haste. Charizard 2. If anyone else has any names for these lizards, let me know. Um, new one. Haste. I forgot to give the other one a symbol. Not that it matters that much, since they're all doing the same thing. Um, in fact, yeah, I don't need a symbol. Uh... Agumon 2? What was the other name we gave one of them? Yeah, you know what? I don't need this. Uh, give me another. Uh. Wait, that uses all my essence? Did I fucking get this? How did I fuck this up? Start giving them barcodes. Carmelian. Uh, Char- Charmeleon? Car- Carmelian. I, I mean, I don't want to have Charizard and Charmeleon, even though Charmeleon isn't, isn't a lesser version. You know what I mean? I, I do kind of like the barcode idea of just naming this, like, Slave 1. <laughs> this one doesn't have any rights. Karma Chameleon. I like that even better, though. I like that even better, though. Karma Chameleon. Oh, I thought it didn't fit for a second. Oh no, Karma Camellio. <laughs> Name after chat. That is an option. I can only create three. Why can I only create three? I thought I had 30, right? Oh, I only have 24. I thought I had 30. I want to increase Essence Mastery at some point, for sure. At, yeah, well, whatever, that's still pretty good. 
I want to be a Blitzkrieg Dino. Just skip my idea. Yeah, Yeoman. Will you, Yeoman? Yeah, it happens. I don't. I don't read half the messages. You should know this. Um, let's go back down here because we missed the. No, no, we got the bolted cloth. There wasn't anything else. I think. No, yeah, there was things we could steal. I forgot. Fuck. Okay, yeah. Now we've got three Blitz Blitz chameleons. Yeah, dude. Look at that. Also, now I have enough money. Okay. Time to try this. So this is one of these situations. I think if you play some of these RPGs with saves coming, it fucks up your, uh, it kind of fucks up the game. It makes it like not as fun. It makes your choices not matter as much. So like right here, it's like, do I give this person $200 to get in here? Or do I, uh, or do I not? Do I think it's a scam? If I, if it's a scam and I just save scum, then the scam was worthless and the choice didn't mean anything. So, I'm going to make the choice to give them money, and if it's garbage, then I just lost all my money. Literally all my money. Are you wealthy? I'd like you to unlock the door. Oh, wait, what does the artifact do? I don't know. Mysteries of the Shapers. Here you go. Dreet takes your money and counts it carefully. She walks over the door and presses a concealed button. Door will open for you now. Enjoy. Better be fucking- Ooh! War Blessing blesses all nearby allies, helping them hit more often and do more damage. Yo! That was fucking worth it. Hell yes! I hope that costs, um, magic and not, not essence. But, uh, let me see here. Um, can I move this? Can I... How do I change? How do I clear this? Right click. Oh, okay. Um, War Blessing. You don't have enough essence to use this ability. Oh. Cost two essence. Okay, well, I'm immediately getting my essence up a tiny bit. There we go. <laughs> Fuck, that used so much skill points! But I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I'm gonna do it, because being able to cast that... You don't have enough essence right now, but if I leave and come back, I'll have enough. Which means I will leave and come back real quick. Just to make sure that I didn't fuck that up and this will actually work. You know what I mean? Because that definitely seems worthwhile. My Zerg will be even better then. Mechanics to 12 is a viable stat. Start talking about salt and he'll look at chat. That is true. Uh, let me take some salt. Yeah, I need some. Essence Mastery, I think, is new. Oh, is it? Oh. So now I can use Blessing. Blessed for four turns. Okay, so once per- once- Well, that means I can only use it once. But, that means I can save it for a big battle. Swarm with my guys. This should be good, actually. What is this? Apothecary. Nothing to see here. Learning halls. All seekers of wisdom may come in. I'm a seeker of wisdom. Especially if you have some, like, skills or something here that I don't have to pay $200 for. We will honor you. The ruins of another shaping hall. Here, shapers built the creatures this town needed to function. They would make fioras and thads for defense, orcs to breed, and so on. Oh! Essence pool. Oh, sick. You meet- Yo, all the serviles have massive noses. I guess that's how you tell them- tell them apart. You meet a withered, bent servile, at least a century old. They are designed to live for a long time, but this one is setting a record. When she sees you, she's overwhelmed with emotion. The servile must exert great effort to keep from breaking down. She stares up at you with awe, as if gods walk the earth now. Maybe they do. <laughs> with a trembling voice, she says, Welcome back, Shaper. I'm learned Peener. Welcome to my home. Welcome at last. Why is everyone so in awe of me? I'm not going to say that. They should be. Why are you called learned? It is a mark of respect for my people. I have been alive for many years, and I know much history. I will share it with you if you want. Your kind has been away for very long. Why is this town- why is this city barred? Why was it abandoned? We do not know. Your kind left a century ago. They left behind us serviles. They did not tell us why they fled. I have an idea, though. Where you might get a clue of where- why the isle was abandoned. Uh, where? To the north, there's a large ruin. I think it was once a school where your kind learned their arts. Oh, also useful shit. I see a broken canister up there. I'm kind of hoping there's a not broken canister up there. 
what's with his nose? It's a, I think it's a it's a woman, by the way. But also, uh, yeah, fucking, I don't know, dude. <laughs> it's, it's a bit, it's like elephant man nose here. I don't read half of your messages half as well as I should like. I read half of them. I read less than half of them half as well as you deserve. I don't even understand that one, so clearly you're correct. <laughs> oh, I was actually wondering how many people in chat have played this. So, one guy's played this the original of this game. Another guy has played the, the original and the remake. And another guy has played Gene Forge 3, 4, and 5. Got it. He doesn't recognize Lord of the Rings. Is that from the book or from the movie? I've never seen the movies, so if that is... I've read the books, though, so that would just be my bad. You, I really need to watch the movies. The books are amazing. You might... Uh, 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 large Ruin... Yeah, such a place might still have a servant mind. In their in a mind might have been told why Susie was abandoned. Well, the other one wasn't. You might go there and see if the servant mind still lives. If you can learn anything from it, do so. Be careful, though. There are rogue creations in there. If there weren't, I might have gone and looked myself. A school? For you... The hobbits didn't understand what mad banter Bilbo was laying on them either. <laughs> Young shapers, we think, not serviles. Serviles don't get school. Don't get schools. Oh, that's who's there. Is young? Wait, what? Why do you think a servant mind is there? I met it when I was young. Many years ago, we could enter the school before the island went wild and the rogues came. It was friendly then, but confused. Maybe you can get it to talk sense. There are rogues there? Many. Old and battered, like most of the rogues. They hunt their own lands and leave us alone. But they'll you'll have to pass through them to reach your, the mind. Okay. I found very strange artifacts in this island. Containers full of goo. Do you know anything about them? Well, I know what those are. I require a boat. I don't know how much... I know this game decisions matter. Um, I don't know how much they matter. I know some of these RPGs, these old, like CRPGs, if you say shit... Like, you ask the wrong question, it'll actually come back to bite you in the ass later, which I love. That's the coolest fucking shit. So, I'm going to assume that's the case in this one, because I do know that, like, that, uh, I know that at least some of the things I say do matter. Like, that, I, you've even got the fucking guy who walks around and tells you how people think of you. Um, so I'm gonna assume it matters, I because I know at least some of it does. You should find and speak with leader Kobar. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. We are not rogues. Ah, uh, they're all fucking broken. Ah, uh, fuck. Alright, well, I can regain my essence, which is unnecessary because I'm at my max, right? And, uh... Wait, so my spell is a blessing magic. Ah, uh, it's too bad that it uses essence. Helping the Inutile. Inutile servants are those who can't fit in, can't concentrate or help, resistant to authority, disorganized. There's no cause for the Inutile condition. Some serviles are just born that way. There's no order to it. So, again, born? Born. The Shapers, when we last knew them, would dispose of Inutile serviles. This is not just. They may not have had immediate utility to the Shaper cause, but they are still living beings. They still must be dealt with. We must find ways to ease them into our society. Brigands and the violent cannot be to tolerated. Or, failing that, they can be allowed land to exist on far from us. We can't kill them, but we can't let them harm us either. There's an old Shaper ledger. The Serviles placed it here and reverently cared for it for many years. The mere fact that it belonged to the Shapers made it incredibly valuable to them. You flip through it amused. The Serviles don't realize it's just an old ledger. They can't read. They can't read. <laughs> Created could equal born. It could. But why would the Inutiles still be a problem if they weren't more of them coming about? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Uh, the records, budget, and inventories within this probably were useless even before the island was abandoned. Won't matter to them anyways. All that matters is it belonged to the Shapers. Crystal. I'm gonna steal that fucking crystal, dude. Attic. She can't see me. Ooh, but she sometimes can. Ooh. Leave, please. 
Ah, I don't want you to guide me. I want you to leave. I want that crystal. Come on, lady. There we go, there we go. Come on. Get it. No. Crystal. Ha! Uh, yeah, cool. I could get the sword, maybe. I don't want to push my luck. Uh, one of those tongs. A lamp. Oh, light source. Oh, yeah, cool. A bowl, metal pot, mirror, gauntlets. That would be some nice armor. When she walks in there, nah, she can probably still see me, it seems like. Are those grenades? You see the shelf full of grenades there? These people are dangerous. I don't like these servos are getting a little too uppity. We need to get mithril armor. Uh, never, dude. Spending all my money on, on blessings. As I should, clearly. I think shaping and breeding both work like super eugenics. Is it easier to make two pigs and let them breed or to make a thousand pigs? Yeah, I wonder if these people are like mostly infertile or something and like it's hard for them to breed or, or how that all works. I'm very interested in the lore of all of this. All right, I couldn't open that. All right, let's explore the rest of the town. Ooh, trading post, Kobar's Hall, Peener's Hall. Out. Can I click here and go there? Wow, it just shows it. Okay, well then I could, yeah. More guards. What's with the chair here? Okay, all right, um, all right. Uh, welcome to Varaki. I've been here a while, but thanks, sign. Oh, they've got a gathering post. Servilers have a meeting area here. The grass is heavily, tra heavily trampled. They've been gathering here frequently of late. Very tribal. All right. There's a small servile girl here standing in a meeting place for the serviles. She has a stink in her hand. A stick. <laughs> a stink. And is watching over a few fat orcs. She watches you curiously as you approach. She has no idea who or what you are. She says, hello, stranger. I'm Leet. Do you know what I am? She frowns. Mm, I don't know. But I haven't had much learning yet. I'm sorry. I'm a shaper. Shapers see and know everything. She suddenly looks extremely nervous. That's really, uh, interesting. Something's worrying her. I'm looking for a stolen knife. Do you have it? She thinks. She thinks. I don't know. Uh, you can see everything, though, so you should know. I'll have to look after my orcs. Sorry. She quickly walks away. She might have the knife. If only your verbal skills were better, you might be able to convince her to give it to you. Do you know what I am? I'm a shaper. My people made your people. This is very confusing to her. She clearly doesn't understand what you mean, but she wants to be polite. Oh, that was very nice of you. I see and know everything. I'm looking for a knife. So if I had more... What? Leadership is the conversation skill? Yeah. I don't know. I still want to save my points for now. Uh, I don't need any of that. How, many, how much money do I have? None. Yeah, none at all right now. Oh, fuck. Man, this town is big. I really did expect much less, but this is nice. Strout. I am but a herder. There's a quiet, nervous servile lurking back in this house. You terrify her. <laughs> On purpose? Or... She says in a quavering voice, Hello, I am Strout. Why are you so nervous? You... you... you're a shaper. We're all afraid. We're afraid of how you'll control us. Some show it less, but we're all afraid. She closes her mouth tightly. She didn't mean to say that much. We need to control you. You're serviles. You were made to obey. She doesn't say anything. She just looks down at the ground. I have another question. What do you do in this village? I raise orcs. Okay. I'm just gonna look through your shit. Yo, shit and armor! Stun resistance, too. Ooh, I really wish I could steal that from you. One day they'll obey, though. Slaughter her for the knife. The little girl? I, I don't think I could do that. It's too bad I can't pit pocket or anything, though. Welcome to Baraki. I didn't mean to record that. <laughs> Let me add this to my journal. I gotta play Planescape Torment. Holy shit. What is this? I will risk all. You meet a short, pale servile slumped in an old stone chair. He is clean and quiet, but he doesn't look like he's been out of this building for some time. He speaks without looking up from the floor. Welcome, Shaper. I am Nab. I've been waiting for you to come see me. What are you doing back here? 
You're stranded on an island. Are you telling me that or the guy- or are you telling the guy in chat who asked what's the goal or main conflict? Yeah. I know what's going on. <laughs> I guess he didn't see the- the opening cinematic. Cinematic's not really the right word. I've been waiting for you to come back here and see me. I am risking much to speak with you. This must be the spy. I must say that I, what I have to say. I act without instructions from my sect because I believe it is worth the risk. I am of the takers. I'm a spy here. Well, that was easy, dude. He just tells me. Uh, <laughs> from the village of Kosk, I have come to see what we awaken, what the awakened are doing. I tell you this because we wish your alliance. Wait, the people who want to overthrow the the shapers want an alliance? Now I only wait for you. I will risk my life to remain here and see if you can help the takers. Do not listen to the lies of the awakened or the obeyers. Do not throw in your lot with them until you've been to Kosk and seen truth. Maybe they don't want to overthrow me. Ooh, don't believe the lies. Ooh. Tell me about the takers. The awakened here are on the right track. But they are weak. Serviles must be free. There is no- well, no, it seems like basically. There is no hope of true freedom and happiness for the servile race until we totally shed the influence of your kind. We will accept your support, though one day we must leave you behind. We hope you'll help us. With you and your other allies, we may break free of the Shaper Fist. We will do anything to bring this, bring this about. So what, I can just be a self-hating Shaper? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that shit. You want me to betray the Shapers? Of course! You should! You crush the creations. You abandon us. You are cruel to us. You are unjust. You must betray your kind for justice. It's a hard choice. Fortunately, we can repay you. How could you possibly repay me? The island is full of secrets. Full of power. We know those who can unlock it for you. Fuck off, idiot. I'm not doing that shit. I'm turning you in right now. Somebody was looking for a spy. I'm turning you in this moment. I'm not- I'm not a self-hating shaper. Very modern, though. Uh, find a spy. Wants to know who it is. Uh, Sensia. Yeah, easy, dude. Easy. Sensia is back. All- no, not there. Back, uh, here. Right, okay. Got lost for a second. Just clap his ass. Well, I'll just turn him in to get this to get this quest, and then he'll die. But uh, yeah, interesting. That's very very interesting. The uh, the faction options here. I don't know why you would want to go with that faction, but I uh, I guess somebody might. I guess some self hating kind of guy might. Uh, I found the spy. It's Nab. She shakes her head. I knew it, but I could never prove it. But I believe you, because you're God. Uh, most large, dangerous combat creations are infertile. Yeah, but these aren't combat creations, so they must be fertile. But how fertile? We'll find out, I guess. Maybe. And no doubt he has fled town by now. Thank you for letting me know. Alfra will appreciate the aid. Should I have killed him? She plays a hand on your shoulder. In the name of the Awakened, I thank you. We remember this. Don't touch me. <laughs> Her hand snaps back. She opens her mouth to say something, but she thinks better of it. Okay, cool. Hey, so, uh, you know that I helped you now, right? I need- I need a boat. You still need other help? Okay. Let me talk to the, uh, retard real quick. Based retard. And, uh, see if- See if my standing has lowered or raised? Like- like, I've done more for them, but I've also made very clear that I want to take them over. Um, what things do you know? What do the Serviles think of me? Nervous. What crimes have I committed? Not know. Might be rogue. Okay, so still the same. Not, not enough has changed. Uh, I guess that's everything. Let me check what's over this way. I don't know what else- here, wait, what else do I need to do? You escape the island. Simple. Search the school to the north. Okay. Clear Watch Hill. Okay. Eliminate the bandits north of the town. All right. Find Pixley and Pentel, Arth and Cos. Find the stolen knife. 
I mean, that's unlikely. Open Ham's box. I need better stats for both of these, basically. Meet the Obeyers, meet the Takers. Got it. What cool shit can you create? Right now, only lizards. So I have my, my Blitzkrieg team. All right, so this way, Watch Hill. Okay, now go back so I can leave in the other direction to unlock that on my map. Because that's how that works, right? Also, is there an entrance to the south? I don't think so. An exit? I mean, no. Or do I have to go there before it? Nice! Perfect. Eliminate the bandits. Clear watch hill. I feel like the bandits would be easier. Wait until Yeoman gets the suicide bombers. Suicide bombers. Yo. Yo. You enter the wildlands north of Vakiri. Oh, wildlands? This could be bad. You find the remnants of, a serv of servile farms and camps. You also find patches of scorched land. The servile's try to expand up here, only to be driven back by rogues. There are Fiora tracks all over the place, clearly visible in the patches of ground among the scrubs. It's a crudely painted sign by the road just ahead. Land of Gurk! Pass toll, ten coins. I don't have any coins, do I? Not that I was gonna pay this fucking Gurk guy. Alright, let's save. Gurk. Oh, that's Gurk. <laughs> This aging servile has been left bent and scarred by his years fending for himself in these woods. However, he still holds his blade with a steady hand. He looks you straight in the eye. Stop! M. Gurk! He is trying to hide his fear, but even his long, harsh life hasn't erased the servile's inbred terror of the Shapers. Ah, oh, inbred terror. Interesting. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. That's what I wanted. He is trying. Uh, this is our wood, Shaper. Woods of Inutile. Though you are of lofty race, you must pay the toll to pass. Ten coins or go the way you c came. Gurk is only a servile, but he's an experienced warrior. Not sure if you can beat him in a fight right now. Fuck off. Brodus Blade of Vakiri told me about you. Yes, Brodus. She thinks she's strong. Easy to act strong there in big fort with food and no rogues. Vakiri asked me to destroy you. You'd best move on. Where, Shaper? North? To certain death in rogue wastes, or west into sea, or south into Vakiri, east to death on pental blades, here we stay, we have no choice. Is there any way you would leave them alone? No, no trust Vakiri. They kill us. I don't have ten coins. He looks worried, he isn't sure what to do. It's sad day, shaper more pitiful than Gurk. You go, come back when you have pay, not fight today, not worth fight. Um, why do you live out here? I'm, I'm gonna attack him. I'm gonna fucking kill him, I'm pretty sure. What we choose, am inutile, thrown from towns. Now live best if we live out here and take food from Vakiri. Less work than toiling in fields. fields. No farming with so many rogues. Is lifestyle we invented. You invented theft. Yes! <laughs> Had much thought, reading old shaper tomes. They c it was called banditry. We may be the first servile bandits. We are proud. I'd like to know more about you. Why? We are inutile. Broken. Not worthy. Shapers would have destroyed us. Serviles threw us out. Why are you declared inutile? Is that how you pronounce that, by the way? I assume. I was from Pentil. They wanted me to work. Work, work, work. I found it easier to take food when nobody looking. This made them mad. I kept doing it. They got madder and mad. So, inutile just means, like, immoral. Okay. Are they all inutile? Of course. A true, not broken servile would stay quiet and weak in the villages. A meek. Interesting. Interesting. I have another question. Uh, you're a rogue. You must be destroyed. The worst nightmare of the inutile here has come true. A shaper has come to destroy them. They shout an alarm and prepare for their final battle. Alright, this should be pretty easy. Uh, let me walk back to here. You know, this could be a hard fight, so I'm gonna war bless. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Um, and then we swarm. Oh, he's fucking strong. Holy shit. Is his melee more powerful? It is! Okay, good to know. And he can do multiple. Ooh. Ooh! Oh, fuck! Holy shit, these guys are powerful. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, fireball. I missed. He's running away. Kill. Ah! Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Uh. Hmm. Okay, he's dead. Uh, but now, now what, dude? Uh, uh, use some thorns. Okay. Ooh, yeah, I don't know about this. Eat some meat. You're full. Heal. This could be better. This this could be going better. This is the hardest difficulty. Remember that. Okay, I'm healed up. Shoot. Uh, let me let me walk forward, and then blast him. That did not do as much damage as I thought. Okay. Heal. I'm dead. I mean, I'm just dead. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Maybe I can do this if I get lucky. Eh, yeah, fuck. I'm gonna use all my healing on this on these fucking guys. Uh. Nice, nice. Oh, that crit was sick. Okay. I should be in the clear now. Uh, I suppose this is what we're doing. I suppose this is how this is gonna go. Just die and go to Watch Hill. Nah, dude, I'm gaming right now. I'm not. You're not gonna fucking interrupt me gaming. There's like three more of these. There's more than three of these. Yeah, but I can leave. Look, they're not even doing anything. Now I can just leave and come back to kill the rest. Fine robes. Shaper and mages are generally fond of heavy robes and dramatic cloaks. Uh, nice, dude. Put that shit. Um, and a gold ring. That's some cash money. Bye. Look at that, dude. Look at that. Now, I go back into town... And then, I figured he'd at least be able to get through the early game on normal. I'm doing that. That's what I'm doing, dude. Easy. Now I recruit more minions. Uh, let's go. Um, so, I have... Cancel. I have 28 essence. Which means I could create four normal ones. Or... Three upgraded ones. Or hasted ones. What the fuck is this game? You're hiring dinosaurs? No, I'm creating them with, with, with magic, dude. Uh, let's create... So... Mm, yeah, we'll do at least one. Um, this is... Charizard 3. Uh, if anyone else has a name... I might have an extra, actually. Uh, let me see. Nate Haste. Tiamat. See, I don't know what that's a reference to. I, I don't, you'd have to, you'd have to, I don't know what that's a reference to at all. Call him Dino Slave. That's a good name. It's a good name. Dino Slave. That looks good. Wait. No, yeah, this is what I want, right? And then another one. Haste. Tiamat is a dragon god. League of Legends item. <laughs> you think I fucking play League? What's wrong with you? Cyndaquil. Pogfish. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I, I hate it, dude. Mmm. So now I've still got four essence left, which is enough to use bless twice. Pretty good. All right. Nice. Uh, let me save. Killed Gurk. Oh, nice. The items stay even when you leave. I was afraid that maybe I'd lose this. Healing spores. Oh, that's really fucking good. Especially since I'm out of healing, basically. Uh, okay. What's up, dude? You're fucking gone. 
Oh, no, I don't want to do ranged on them. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh, well, run up. Servile Bandit scowls at you as you pass. Your presence is filling them with terror and rage. A volatile combination. Yeah, see, I mean, the nice thing here is that, like, we're giving... We, we need to strike fear into these people. So this is the right... I think this is the right way to go about this. Uh, let's use Fireball. He ran away. Okay, well, they'll get better about that over time. Someday they won't be big pussies. Uh, and whenever that day comes, I'll be quite happy. Uh, let's use another Fireball. Nice. That was a woman? <laughs> or just a strange sounding man? We do live in the future after all. This is a fantasy realm. Futuristic fantasy realm. With weird gene magic. Okay, well. I think I win. <laughs> I think I did it. I didn't even take like hardly any damage. I was about to ask what this music fucking was, but I forgot we're still listening to RuneScape music, because there is no music. <laughs> I was wondering, like, what what goofy music for this for this uh, uh, bandit encounter, but like, nah, that's just, uh... <laughs> F5. Okay, I gotta remember that. It's definitely quick, quicker. Run up there. Run up there. You think my other- you think my other dino's gonna run away again? Doesn't look like it. Attack. This Blitzkrieg is fucking good. I have to- Ah! Okay, they're still- still pretty powerful. Still- still pretty powerful. But not so bad. Nice. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but that's actually perfect. Who did I lose? I lost, uh... I forget who it was. Oh, I lost Pogfish. <laughs> Pogfish, no! <laughs> Who's attacking me? Oh. Um. Fireball. Uh, run over there. Run over there. Oh! Oh! I don't like being close like that, dude. Enemy stops you. I forgot they do that shit. What? Oh, you fucker. Okay. You fucker! Uh, shit. Am I full still? Can I heal? I don't have any. That's bad. Kill him, come on, kill him, come on, kill him. Hell yes! You pulled through, my man. Uh, I'm gonna save again. Holy shit. We're doing pretty well. You know the hardest difficulty? Not that bad. <laughs> Minus five to hit chance, but much more armor and... Uh. Hmm. Interesting. It's much better armor. Like, by a lot. Slightly less magical armor, but I'm not going to be fighting... I don't think I'm running into much magical shit right now. Yeoman only plays the most autistic games. Do you always play weird games? Yeah, dude, obviously. Do you see this? <laughs> I thought this game was at least somewhat well known, because I've heard of this game before and people saying how cool it was. Um, but, uh, apparently not. Like, there are, like, f there, when I, ch when this game came out, I thought there were immediately gonna be a bunch of reviews, and, like, it had, like, five reviews or something. It probably has more now, but, like, there aren't a lot of people playing it on YouTube or anything either. Like, yeah. Let's, let's take this. Definitely, I don't know. I definitely misjudged that one. I thought this was more popular. It should be. It's fucking kind of cool. Uh, I can just leave and come back, right? That seems like the obvious strategy here. <laughs> the whole share series was shareware back in the day, right? I don't know, actually. I know it's old enough for that to be the case. <laughs> if you go to Watch Hill, you could get a new creation. That, I, that counts as a spoiler, isn't it? <laughs> like, why would I have the ability- Don't tell me that! That's completely outside of the, I said could. Not would. Well then why even tell me so, You've played the game, so you can't be saying fucking could shit. Oh, I gotta go back first, I forgot. I could be lying to you. Well, that's even worse, fucking liar. Alright, yeah, so I gotta go. Right. Okay. Uh, 
Let's get another one. Let's make him haste. Let's name him, uh... Mm, mm. What was the other one people, people mentioned? I'm scrolling up. There's just Tiamat. Yeah, I'll name him Tiamat. Fine, fine, fine. I just don't understand what the fuck it is, but he's gonna die in 10 seconds. What level are they? So they're level three and I'm level two. So yeah, I only need to level up one more time and I shouldn't have as much problem with them running away. Hopefully. I mean, I guess there's other factors, but I assume that's the biggest thing right now. Pogfish 2! <laughs> I guess this is a bit of a cult classic. See, that's what I thought. I thought it was more of a classic. You know, like, I I thought it was like... This is a really small cult classic. I didn't know that. Okay, food. Food. Living tool! Oh, that is sick. Nice. This looks like actually a big, big fort. I didn't realize there was going to be this many guys. Maybe I should have gone east first, but now that I'm here... Yo, that guy didn't see me. Dinosaur, stop. Oh, fuck. Oh, I should probably come back to this place later. Oh, I'm running. Yeah, no, I'm going to come back to this place later. Get me out of here. Enemy is visible. Nice! Fuck. Shit, I had escaped for a second. That's weird how that works, actually. Uh, run again. Run again. We're probably gonna have to fight. Probably. Oh! Shit, I almost worked again. Alright, bless. And... Go for it, dude. Ooh, they're pretty powerful. Oh, dude, I need to remember to do this. Since I'm at range right now and can't hit him, I might as well use a fire breath this turn, obviously. This guy, you can reach. So you go up and kill him. Nice! Okay, we've got a good setup here. This is actually kind of smart how we did this because they're around the corner. So they, kind of, they almost like lost a turn because of that. Fireball. I'm so weak. Uh, walk one. Okay. Get over there. Bite. Get there. Fuck, there's, there's a lot of them, but they're not as powerful as the other ones. Yeah, see, they didn't one-hit kill- Well, that guy did. Fuck! These fucking guys! Attack here, and then attack here. Oh, he's terrified. I don't blame him. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to run away in a second. In fact, maybe I should start running away now. Especially since the path there is gonna get me cut off. Uh, yeah. Do your best, dinos! Yo, another kill! Yo, thanks for the EXP, dude, before I leave. They're all focusing on him. Perfect. Perfect, I can get the fuck out of here. Uh, attack. And attack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck. Get out. Get out before they come back. Get out. Uh, yeah, I might check to the east. That is a dangerous place. I probably could beat it, though. I'm just doing what I'm doing now. So if I just... You know... Does this increase their level? It doesn't, actually. What about strength upgrade? That increases their level. So does that. So does that. That doesn't. That doesn't. So it seems these don't because they don't affect their stats. Um, so that gives- that costs two. They all cost two. I'm kind of curious. Overload is also interesting. Bandits are dead. The map's not red anymore. Oh, really? Oh. Notice it says levels and stats at the top. Yeah, I I know. <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? I, what, what, you, what? Yeah, I guess I completed the quest. I guess that was... I killed enough of them. There will come a day when Yeoman never reads chat at all. It's That's not true. They default use a melee attack when you're in right, melee range. There's no need to switch. Oh, that's good enough. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter that much. But, uh... Alright. 
I'm considering maybe changing my buffs to maybe overload them and then just... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. It might be worth trying at least. Let's try an overload. Let's try an overload uh, group. We'll name this one uh, Pogfish 2. And someone said Podfish 2. Podfish 1. <laughs> Fine, whatever. They're pretty, uh, they're pretty, uh, you know, replaceable, so I'm not really too concerned. And then you want one, you spelt it, now you just said Pog. So fine, he's named Pog. Fat ass white girl. Alright. Let's turn in this quest, I guess we fucking did it. I guess I might go back and finish the rest of them then in a second. Uh, the blade. Okay. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Works for me. Maybe it's because I killed their master and enough of the other ones that they're just, they've given up? Maybe? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I guess I'll save. Fucking, fucking mission accomplished, baby. Uh, she's down here, right? These guys should like me after doing all this shit for them. Wait, can I grab that shit? I didn't mean to. Free food. Yo, free food. Uh, I killed quite a few of the bandits. So you did. Stand out scouts and the bandits are in hiding. I'll not be raiding us anytime soon. Thank you for your help. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> we of the Awakened believe you should pay for help. Should deal with you as equals. So here's fair payment for this service. And you a Splendor bone, Wand of Bone. Ooh. And 200 EXP. Fiery Wand. Shapers are not above using ma regular magical items. This baton has been carefully infused with potent magic power. Six charges, Cone of Flame. Nice! And that's a lot of damage. Can it recharge, though? Or is that just a one-time... Like, after that, it's gone. Because, I mean... You know, that's good. Eight to twenty... Oh, I should use these javelins instead of that, also. Okay, I mean... Cool. I forgot I have a heal. What am I, fucking dumb? Two essence, though. But still, probably worth using occasionally. I'm almost leveled up, and I still haven't picked my the rest of my skill points. Because <laughs> I have no other fucking abilities. Or I have no, yeah, no, no summons. He's barely done, like, one area. Oh, because, oh, that bet? Yeah, I don't know, dude. I wait for the nuclear bomb fireball spell. Yeah, that I won't be able to use or something. Keep alert. He's done like four out of 80 areas and the first three were non-combat. Yeah, but you know, I don't know. This, would, this could be a long game, but uh, it's not that long. I looked up how long to beat, at least for the original, and it said like 26 hours. Maybe as much as 80 if you play completionist. So, I mean, that's quite a fucking large uh, range, but... That's worth 400. It's also good. Holy oh, shit. Nice! Okay, fuck, dude. Got some cool shit out of this. So, they're not attacking. They said they're in hiding. Ah, uh, they're not that much in hiding. Okay, I was wondering how that was gonna be. <laughs> fuck, he's back! The guy is back. This time he brought javelins. We're dead, dude. All we wanted to do was steal from people in peace. Uh, you think I can reach from here? Ooh. Yes. Miss, miss. I should've done overload. What am I, stupid? That's their main benefit. Also, I didn't bless. Overload. Attack. Whoa! Overload. Attack. Holy shit, I love Overload. Overload. Attack. That's pretty good, dude. That's pretty good. Oh, barely alive. Nice. Uh, let's heal you. 
Nice. What? Fucking turned on me. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Uh, they can turn on you instead of going terrified. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's that's what they did. <laughs> you need more control, yeoman. I need to level up. To level up, I need to kill things. So, you know, like, I'm trying. What's the other thing that affects control? Effects of chance of creation, uh, improving skills, improving shaping skills improves control. Having lots of creations or creations of higher levels reduces control. Oh, so the fact that I have three of them and the fact that they're a higher level than me and the fact that I have no shaping skill, basically. Where's shaping skill? Oh, as in fire shaping. Well, but I don't want to do that yet in case I want to use something else. I might do fire. Improving- wait, spread it out over different classes. Improving your skill actually makes it worse because it levels them up. Oh. So it would actually be better to increase battle shaping? And doing fire shaping would actually not be good because it increases the level? That's fucking ridiculous. Uh... <laughs> Yo, okay, this runescape music has gotten too fucking goofy. Let's go back to Stronghold. Yeah. We'll be fine. They probably won't turn on me this time. You know? Uh, let's War Blessing. Okay. And then Overload. And... Range. Can't reach. You can't move? Okay. <laughs> uh, overload. It's cause, okay, he can reach. That guy just barely couldn't. Got it. Walk here, overload. That's what I should have done was walk forward. Yo, I fucking healed the guy and he turned on me. Oh, I, I turned down the wrong thing. Wait, wait. You don't have a battle creation yet. That's why I said watch hilt. But it's too much spoils. Yeah, don't tell me that. Also, you will not just pick one class of creation. I could. Although, I could see how, yeah, that would fuck my control. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, let's heal up this guy. Whichever one that is. Was that Pogfish? Wait, why did he lose health? What the fuck happened there? Oh, right, because of Overload. Duh. Yeah, I forgot that's how that works. Um, let's run up and attack. They said I didn't have to change, but I did it anyway. Uh, run up. And attack. Yeah, I'm kind of suicide bombing them because, like, they're going to die because of these overloads. Huh. And I can't heal anymore. This isn't maybe a, maybe not the best strategy, actually. But I'm... Especially if they get fucking... Yeah, there they go! <laughs> ah, fuck! Well, uh, yeah, never mind. I've, uh, I've changed my mind on that strategy. If I had even more essence, it could be really good. But, as it is right now, I don't think it's worth it. I think it's better to give them something else. So let's absorb. And then leave and come back. This is a little too loud. It's still driving me crazy. I, I'm very sensitive to loud noises. Don't make fun of me. It's probably a minor form of autism or something. So if you make fun of me, you'll, you'll get you'll get banned. That's how Twitch works, dude. I'm scared every time he dies. Well, uh, good. Thanks. Thanks for looking out for me, I guess. For feeling for me. Each tank has a chance of using fewer action points. So yeah, that's, that's the double. Double hit. I could also make just four regular ones. But then they'll have even less control. So that's actually one of the reasons to not have as many of them, is that, that you'll have more control over them. So maybe this time, yo, I mean, I like, I actually like this. I like the experimentation that this, that this, uh, is, is engendering. 
So I'm gonna give this guy fucking strength and double health, but then it levels him up, which means he'll... I could give him abilities and not have to worry about that. But if I give him... Yeah, wait, shit. It's a pretty good ability, though. Cone attack. Hmm. So I could give him all of these and not have any problem with control. But there's not really too much of a reason to do that. Especially these. Well, it was an idea. Huh. The sensitivity to loud noises might be your enhanced perception due to migraines. I, that's something I realized. I went in a room and was immediately able to realize that one of the lights had burned out. Thought, oh, migraine power and got a migraine. Well, I think you could have just noticed that. But that, yeah, it, I, that would make some sense, honestly. Yeoman, you dummy. Cone attack plus no cooldown on special attacks. Oh, yeah, I did that earlier. Oh, right. The reason, for some reason, I thought that wouldn't work. But I forgot that the reason it didn't work before is because I gave myself two magical skills, which makes the control even less because it levels them up. But these don't level them up. So yeah, okay, let's try the fucking Gatling gun strategy. This is my, uh... I'm gonna name him after guns now, fucking anime girl style. This is my, uh, M16. And it doesn't matter if they're not Gatling guns, it's, it, this also isn't a Gatling gun, so... And then I'm gonna create my, uh... What, a Stig? Or, uh... This is my, uh... Moist, I, I, uh, yeah, sure. That's what they call it. Anyway, Moist Nugget. And I can make another and only give him one additional thing. So I won't. I'll just keep the essence and we'll try this. That'll, that'll allow me more healing. Still be able to use Bless. We'll give it a try. Moist Nugant. Yeah, exactly. The Moist, the Moist Nugget. Yo, I want a fucking moist nugget so bad. I gotta buy more guns. Once I finally get my insurance money, which... <sighs> someday. <laughs> I'll, uh... Yo, another one! Or I didn't get it? Oh. It's a good thing I went back here. Holy shit. Let me save. Cape. That cape's fucking amazing. Yeah, I would've missed that. Shit. You died, remember? Yeah, for some reason I thought that was like a previous time. What guns do you have? I've just got a tw I, all I have is like a cheap fucking, um, uh, AR, but it's chambered in 22, so it's just a fucking plinkster, you know what I mean? Like, it'd be nice if, if the world ends, I can hunt rabbit and shit, like, it's a fine survival gun, but it's- I need some real-ass guns. Dalton, uh, inherited a full safe of guns from his dad, though, so if anything goes down, I'll be fine. But I still want more guns, because I like, you know, I like guns. All right, here we go. Fucking Conum. Hell yeah! Look at that! Oh, that is what I, I'm talking about right there. Look at that cone. Oh. Okay. It's doing some damage. Not too bad. Uh, let me heal you. Okay. And then cone him. And then cone him again. They're not dying that fast, I gotta say. These guys are kind of strong. But we should be fine. This guy might kill that one, though. Oh, you fucker! Okay. Um. I'm gonna use the fiery wand here. Oh, no, I'm not. Wait! No! I right clicked! I forgot right click and left click do the same fucking thing in this game! Oh, well, I killed him. I guess that's fine. Kill? Oh! And then you get in the way. Nice. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Alright. Uh, back up. Fireball. Nice. You run up to him. Eat him. Hell yeah, dude. We did it. We did it! We did it! Who survived? M16. Proud of you. Get a 308 hunting rifle. That would be sick, actually. I'd like that. We finally overcame a group of mages. They were hard! 
I'm proud of myself. I don't know about you. I don't know if you're proud of yourself. <laughs> anyway, let me turn this down a tiny bit. Or not. No, that's fine. Okay. There might be more. I might want to leave and come back, but I can run away if I need to. Bunch of forks. Steel sword! Worth $20. I can't use it because I need better melee skill, and I'm never going to get better melee skill. But that's nice. More food? There's probably more of them. No? Doesn't look like it. And they did alert everybody, so they would have all came out, probably. Candle, javelin. What is that? Nothing? Is that something? Oh! Pick the lock. Living tools. Not yet. Yo, they had a fucking vial. Days. Dazes all enemies in a circular target area. Temporarily paralyzes them, but damage them ends the daze. Uh, yeah, I'll take that shit. Hell yeah, dude. Daze. One essence, 20 energy. Okay. 20 energy. How much do I have? 26. So I could use that once. Ooh, there's an underground. Ooh. Sword. Dagger. Uh... I want to sell all of this. I might keep the sword, maybe. The rope, I don't even know if that's useful for anything. I thought maybe it might be. Fine robe, I might use instead. No. I'll just keep what I got. Uh, crystal, I want to sell. Okay, good enough. More crystals. Hey. And the leather, I'll probably also sell. You basically have a varmint rifle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. They were not mages. Well, yeah, they didn't. Yeah, they didn't actually use any spells. I don't know why. For some reason, when they said that, I was just like, yeah, whatever. They do wear my my the fucking coats though. Okay, that's some more money. Let's save and go down. What? Oh, whatever. What the fuck? A thad. I'm not fighting that thad yet. I'll come back to that. I don't think I could- I don't- especially right now, weakened, I don't think I could kill a Thad. Hmm. What is this shit? Just shitty tunics? Robes? Dice? That seems like the kind of item that could actually be useful and the game would never tell you about. Same with mortar and pestle. Does this game do that kind of thing? This is one of those times where you're allowed to give me the answer. Is there any reason to hang on to that shit? Or is it just- is it just actually junk? Dude, another living tool. No, junk is junk. Okay, good. You never know in these games. Like, you- you really never know. So, uh... Drop that. Drop the rope. Drop the dice. That has- that has value. Oh. You can only- oh, you can't remove it until you sell it. Oh, so you, it, it prevents you from using your junk bag as inventory because anything in here you have to sell. Neat. That's actually a cool way of doing that. Alright. Uh, do I... Yo, what are these fucking cool looking robes? They don't exist. I can't get them. Do I bust this thing open with my living tools? Or... Do I... Upgrade myself. Wrong button. Better mechanics. I think I'll leave it. <sighs> Get more mechanics. Yeah, first of all, I don't trust you. But second of all, I don't know, dude. I don't know if I want to do that. I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll remember. I'm going to write it down. So, uh... Bandit. Camp. Chest. And town chest. And that one has a quest for it, so I'm just writing this down real quick. Right, I should have just clicked all the way to the entrance and saved myself some time, but I'm stupid. What can I say? Wait. Uh, no, M16 can stay, and I'll just make the other one when they come back. Yeah, that the, the cone is pretty good. Um, the cone strategy is nice as long as we... Uh, I didn't mean to come from this direction. 
As long as there's a big group of people. Otherwise, it's not that great, honestly. Um, let's call him... Let's call him... Uh, uh, mm, mm. What are the other gun suggestions? MG3 works for me. Pogfish. SK... Pogfish 3. SKS. SK... I like SK, SKS. Oh, let's grab this shit. Can I get like... Oh! Nobody saw shit. <laughs> Welcome to my humble plot of land. I didn't want to talk to you. Stole that on accident, but luckily nobody saw anything. Um... Oh, I thought maybe I could get another reward since I've killed even more of them, but no. Let's... At some point, I probably want to get some leadership, too, for conversations. There's some quests that I think I'm probably never going to be able to do unless I do that. Although I am quite violent, which might get around some of that. Uh, let me look at the quests again. Clear watch hill. That's about all I can do right now. I could, I could open the box, but... The thing is, if I'm ever going to up my mechanics, I should probably just wait until then. And I probably will at some point, so I'll just wait until then. And I have it written down, so I can drink some more. High point. <laughs> Fucking cheap ass guns, dude. What's the other one? The Taurus? The, those pistols that are just like kind of garbage, honestly. You enter the woods east of Vakiri. They used to be more heavily settled by shapers and then serviles. Then the land was gradually abandoned, overgrown. Rogues have moved closer into the abandoned lands, inching closer and closer to Vakiri. There's a road going through these woods. At least one servile settlement must have survived out here. Yo, I just realized I'm stupid. There's a w you you must be able to go further north, right? It was a toll. You can't. There's, you don't have a toll to go nowhere. Do they? <laughs> Maybe they do. <laughs> oh wait, this way too. Oh, let me check up north first. There's a little bit I didn't explore. But like, yeah, this has to branch off somewhere else. Or else, why the fuck would they have a toll? Yeah, I assume it's this way that they were charging the toll for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How dangerous is this? Land of Gurk, enter at peril. Yeah, whatever, dude. To rogue wastes. All serviles beware. Hmm. Okay, let's unlock this on the map at least. Dry wastes. Okay, yeah, that sounds like bad news. Uh, we can kill one lizard over here. Two, two lizards. Yo, they've got overload. They've, oh, fuck. Uh, uh, two lizards against three lizards is, uh, not ideal. Um, I can use the cone on those guys in a second, but... Ooh, there's also a Thad. I think I'm not gonna go over this this direction. I I yeah I <laughs> I think I'm not gonna go over here. Hmm. <laughs> that's fine. I'm still not lowering the difficulty because all that means is that that's an area I'm not supposed to go to. Uh, let's go back here from that way though. What a tough game. I mean, again, it is the hardest difficulty. Let's check over this way, see what we can find, but it seems like this is a rough area. And yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 I'm out. We'll come back when we're stronger. Let's see if the east is easier. It's exactly where one of your objectives is, Yeoman. So? It's an RPG. You, go, you do the objectives that are easier first. That's like... All the good RPGs are left like that. The non-oblivion level scaling. Oh my fuck. Okay. Alright. Well, this isn't gonna be easy. Nice! Ooh, okay. Okay, we might be able to do this. I might want to, uh... Hey! This, this is a good cone! Leap. I can hit my own guys. Days. Wait, that hits my own guys too? I can't fucking believe. I thought, I knew I could do damage to my own guys, but... And they can hurt me, so I gotta do this cone well. There we go. 
Okay. Um, walk here. And then cone. Oh, whoo! Whoo! A miss may have saved my life. Okay, cone. Nice. Go there. And then cone. Okay! Oh, I hit my own guy. Ah, fuck. Yo, we're actually doing this, though. These guys aren't so bad. You can't use this with the foe who is next to you. Well, fine. <laughs> fine. Um, enemy stops you. Can I get the cone correct? No, not really. Yeah, fine. This guy should be able to kill both. Oh, I'm almost dead! Oh! Please! Please! Cone him! Yes! Oh, barely! Did he just go evil? Oh no. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Time to return to, da to town and uh, count our losses. You can't leave until all your crate. Let's go. Let's go, fucking... M16? M16 still alive, by the way. Holy shit. EXP giving enemies are finite, if I remember correctly. Amazing. Amazing. I love fucking games like that, where you can't grind. Oh, that is so- that is so nice. Oh, I didn't- I forgot I actually had to enter town. All the good Fire Emblem games are like that. Um... I'm still not sure about the- I mean, the cone's pretty good. Cone strat's pretty good. It's working. I, I don't think I would have done that one if it wasn't for the cone. Enemies also give less EXP as you increase in level. Hmm. Cone plus haste. It's a good point, actually. But no, I'm gonna stay with this for now because I can heal and, uh... If I had haste, too, I wouldn't have enough to really heal or anything. Oh, I guess we're just fucking going, aren't we? Alright. Alright. <laughs> Uh, well, since there's just one guy, I kind of want to just walk in front of him to block him. Oh, yeah, and just miss. That's, that was my plan, was just to miss. That's, well, everybody's missing. That's, that's cool. Uh, fireball. Nice. Alright. Um, might as well use this. Because it actually doesn't miss. Yeah, actually, that's a, that's a pretty nice advantage. Fireball. Um, cone. Nice. Nice. Uh, I'm really surprised we haven't leveled up yet. Oh, we're, we're 17 points away. So two more kills, probably. Uh, stop the battle. Heal. You. Okay. Alright! I feel like we're, we're getting places here. Fuck, I hate it when you run out of space and you don't know where the fuck um so now i guess uh i'm gonna name this two i'm gonna start doing numbers <laughs> i'm gonna start doing numbers because this is gonna get too, way too confusing doing them based on what's going on i'm gonna have to remember like oh when did i get charizard uh what part of the game was that just hit t for the text that's kind of cool but what does that have to do with the with the save that is nice, though, actually. Huh. I don't know if I want it up all the time. Yo, they got, like, a, a fort here. Let me... Let me look around. There might be somewhere else I want to go first. Also, I guess maybe pick some mushrooms or find some garbage. No garbage. Just a stick. No garbage. Alright, let's follow the path. Read this sign. But so there, there seems to be a Thad bar. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Elra's Keep, east. Okay, so we can go there, and we need to meet him anyway. There's just more trash here. A well. More thads. Okay. So it seems if you go off the path, you're in much greater danger. Or the path just ends, and you can't go anywhere else anyway. That's interesting. That's... <laughs> the fuck was the point of this path? Oh. Okay. Can I reach? I can. 
really hope those other guys just like mind their fucking business and leave me alone. What? There. Can't see. What? It got blocked? <laughs> I'm still figuring this game out, clearly, but some of this shit is like... Like, that doesn't look like I'm blocked, but okay. I'm probably still blocked right there. Here, wait. Is he even trying? Three. I have a Windows 10 now because I got a new PC and it was pre-installed. Oh, you're talking about shitty Windows 10? <sighs> this is gonna be a... This is gonna be a fucking blast. Um, unless I can... I can daze all of them. I am a master of strategy! How long do they daze? How long do they daze? Wait a second. How long do they daze? Because, uh... Um... Temporarily paralyze them, but damage them ends the... Is it just when you... Uh, is, does anything else end it? Does it end with time? Hmm. Yeah, if you want... If you want good windows, by the way... Um... You can... Just, uh, what was I gonna say? It does end with time. Okay. Well, then I'll, I'll get two of them here. If you want good Windows, just get the version of Windows 10 that doesn't have any spyware. It's called, like, LTSB. That's what I have. Or LTSC now, I think it's called. Something like that. Alright, so yeah, these two guys, I'm awakening them, but that's fine. That means I can just deal with two of them at once instead of three. Or, I mean, instead of four. I can count. Okay, they're still dazed. Nice. Um, let's... I don't have enough to heal. Cool, cool. Gotta love it. Can do minor damage. Um, I fucking can't... I cannot wrap my head around the fact that right-clicking doesn't cancel, but just does the same thing as left-clicking. Why? I've played video games before. Like... <laughs> No video game is like that. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna use this. Yes! Yes! 13 points, baby! Uh, kill. Nice! Nice! Oh, and because my guy's dead, I can heal this guy. Absorb the power of your fallen comrade, M16. I should do it from further- AH! The right click thing. The, the right click thing is driving me fucking crazy. Uh, well, you're uh, fine, whatever. It's fine. Uh, bless. Alright, I just wanted you to- Back up a little bit so that you can be the maximum distance away from them when you attack them. That's all. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, they leave. So I guess it doesn't fucking matter. Oh. I'm dead. All, all that, and I'm dead. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this game's hard, but I like it. I do like the difficulty, although it's. Yeoman's not a real gamer. It's the hardest difficulty, my man. Like, come on. Cut me some slack. Uh, alright. I just need to do slightly better. That's all That's all there is to it. I just, I, just, I just need to do slightly... That's me. I meant to move that... Oh, my fuck. Let me just load that one real quick. That was a mistake. I didn't mean to move myself into, into combat. Just fucking... Okay. Alright. Uh, they're already blessed... Only two of them came into combat this time, so I don't need to- I don't need to- I don't need to daze them. Just use an attack. No problem. Alright. Run up to here. Use a cone. There we go. Run up to here. Use a cone. Okay, we're good. Unless they fucking leap to me. But I don't think they will. Be calm! 
War Blessing. You move here. And do that. Yeah, I need to get the fuck out of here. I need to flee as my guy fights. Oh, of course. Of course they do that. Of course that's what they do. And I can't use that. <laughs> Alright, okay. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I shouldn't have used that. That was kind of a waste. Uh, yeah, fine. If he misses, I might be okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's fine. Watch. Watch. Flee! Flee! Okay, good. 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 We're good. We're good. Uh, I need a different setup, clearly. Uh, this, this team is not working for me. Just lower the difficulty. Not yet. You can't avoid combat forever. I haven't avoided combat at all, but uh, okay, dude. Um, let's... I mean, I've avoided some combat in favor of other combat, if you consider that avoiding combat. <laughs> There's probably a better way to do what I'm doing. But I'm not sure. Oh, I like that you... Okay, I, I didn't even realize, yeah, you can edit while you're not in combat, like where you're not somewhere... So I could actually give them even more. So... So here's the thing. Oops. Oh no, I haven't leveled up now because of that. Fuck. Do I just want to give myself... Hmm... A t it's a tough decision because I don't... You have as little control as you want. Just don't let them get hit. Yeah, maybe I should just... Maybe I should just do that. Maybe I should just try no control. Who cares? Let's give them more magic. Well, I don't want to give them too much because... Well, maybe instead... Should I do full Blitzkrieg? Oh, I can only add to them. I can't take away without just absorbing them. Which I could do. You know, I mean, but if I do two of them, then they won't- I won't be able to bless them. Better strategy. I've got a better strategy. Alright, I think we're back to a Blitzkrieg strategy, and the reason is this. The Blitzkrieg guys, it's not as bad if they have low control. Because at least they might do the right thing. Maybe. Bless isn't that good. Yeah, it is. Oh, no, but it's not if I'm using Flamethrower. Because the chance to hit isn't that important if I'm using Flamethrower. So, actually, that's a good point. But no, I'm thinking about doing this. So, that's Haste and Strength. That costs 10. So, I could make two of those. Well, fuck. Might as well give them health, I guess. I could make these fucking tanks. Hmm. Hmm. Haste and... I like... See, if I could make three haste and strength, I would do that, but I can't. Tanks with no control. Yeah, they'll get in the way. <laughs> like a tank should do. Um... Ugh. It's tough. It's, it's tough, uh... If you want no control. Yeah, maybe I do. Other... Other possibility. Right? Other possibility... It's just go back to fucking haste spam. Not quite enough to make four, but I could bless them all. Mm, I could also up. No, I couldn't. I don't have enough stats. Go full magic flamethrower and don't let them hit you. Let's see if that'll work. Goodbye. <laughs> I gotta leave and come back, but... So yeah, let's see if I just... Magic, magic, flamethrower, fast recovery. I can do two of those without a bless, which is probably worth doing. I like that. Extremely powerful. Uh, I'll name him... Uh... Uh, every time I try and think of a name, this is why I'm terrible at thinking of names. 
every single time, like, I was like, oh, what's a good name? Oh, Hitler. Like, oh, no. <laughs> I can name him Adolf, though. That's a good old, that's a good old name. That's a good old classic name. And we'll name this guy, uh, Fred. I already did Fred, didn't I? No, I did Hank. Fred. Flamin' Warfer. Oh, that's even better, dude. Nice. Nice. Alright. Moment of truth. Uh, I want to I wanna name this one Flames or something, but I guess I'm just naming it Four. This game is pretty cool. I really like the strategy going on here. Like, I'm, act I'm trying out new techniques. I'm banging my head against the wall and hoping something changes. It's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Alright. So let's run up. Use a flame. They're unlimited, so I don't need to worry about it. That is not that much damage. That is really not much of a change over what I had before. But okay. Whatever. Throw a javelin. He leaps. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Me taking damage isn't even that bad right now. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Flee. Oh, he can see me. But, I, well, I can see him. Hell yeah, dude. It's as easy as that. You know, you know, sometimes it's just as easy as. Sometimes all you gotta do is fucking kill one of them and then, then run away and save so that you can level up. Sometimes it's as easy as. Now. I'm level three, so they'll listen to me more. What are the things that I want? Alright? Essence mastery. Priority, right? Some sort of shaping skill also important. But essence mastery is huge. It gives me five. 44. Now this do this will use like all of my points. You're the number one Gene Ford streamer. Congratulations. Thanks, dude. Sick. This does use all of my points, but I think it's worth it. Because that almost doubles how much I can use, and I can just spam the shit out now. I like that. I like that. You don't need to increase shaping magic right now. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm afraid of just the investment for later, you know? Um, let's absorb both of these, because I'm going to remake my team. But, uh, yeah, hopefully... Let me see. So, I could make... I could make a full team of basic ones, right? Wait a second. Could I really? Could I just make a full team of fucking spam? Yo! My army! Look at this shit! Very poor control. But... But... Who cares? I could also instead get rid of like one of them and give the rest of them haste. Which would be fucking amazing. Wait a second. Wait a second. The army grows. This is it. This is it right here. Haste him. The Blitzkrieg. The real fucking Blitzkrieg. Oh, I can only put Blitz on four of them. So I can get rid of this last one and then have a slightly smaller army. Hmm. So now I've got four points left over, five guys. That means I could bless them. Okay, the Horde. I'll name them all. Obviously, I gotta name them all. Uh, we'll name him, uh... uh Genghis? Gang if I can spell. Genghis? Uh, what are the other ones? Chingus? That's how you spell it, right? Chingus. That's, that was one of those great cons, right? Kublai? Yeah, exactly, dude. Kublai Khan? Um, <laughs> Dingus? 
Subutai. Sub yeah, and Subutai. The Horde. Dongus and <laughs> Big Chinkus. <laughs> I'll have to remember these. <laughs> I have to remember these names for later. All right, the horde, dude. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what my horde can accomplish. Let's see if these tactics actually work at all. Let's see how close I can get first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay together. Stay together. Wait, why am I? I don't want to lead. Wait a second. Oh, but I can have one of them lead instead. Maybe. Okay, you immediately go for me. I'm gonna be dead this turn. Okay, that could have gone better. Um. Did he re he he can repost. Repost. Oh, you gotta kill this guy, dude, or else I'm dead. Uh, that was the worst possible start. For the battle. Just just want to point that out. Just want to point out that that could not have gone worse. And we didn't even get a kill there. And I'm dead. I... <laughs> no! The horde needs to be properly positioned. Or else it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really work. Uh, Otacon. <laughs> you can drag your character down the list. What? That's the key. You've just discovered the key. You're at the entrance of Watch Hill, an old Shaper watch post. It is a burrow under a large hill. All that makes sense. The naming scheme makes sense. Yeoman's too cool, too cool to read chat. Please read chat. With which, which question? Oh, that question? Yeah, I read it eventually. It takes a second. From the top, guardians and agents kept watch over the surrounding lands looking for rogues and other sources of trouble. The guards lived in the warrens under the hill. It was a common arrangement. However, these caverns have been taken over by savage rogues. Their growls and grunts echo through the tunnels. Okay. Lead the way, dinos. I saw a guy over there. Let's look around a little bit. Ooh. 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 Okay. It's overflowing with fucking thads. Ah! The Thad saw me, and I accidentally clicked forward and discovered more Thads. Get out of there. Ah, uh, fuck. Um, let him come to me. But bless him. Okay, perfect. These guys didn't see me, I think? Nah, they did. Ah, shit. Alright, hope for the best on this one. Uh, go around here, attack. Go here, attack. Man, if we can't even gang rape a guy to death in one turn, what's the point of my horde? Oh, I did. Oh, I did. Oh. oh. And now flee because they're going to run this way. I'm just going to just going to Does this take Yeah, so that gets used up. Uh well, I maybe should have just went right into the next battle then. Yeah, that was stupid. Yeah, that was stupid. That was a waste. Why do you not use- why do you use them melee attack? Melee- melee attack. What? I don't understand- I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. I use the melee attack because they're right next to him. And I like the melee attack. If you do the- Oh yeah, wait! The fire attack does also work for that ability, doesn't it? Because it's just any attack. Yeah, for some reason I thought it was- For some reason I thought it was just melee. Yeah, never mind. I should just use the fire breath. Tool, very nice. Oh, I can kill a lizard. How come he doesn't have fucking friendly fire? Huh? Or was it because fire breath doesn't do that? No, fire breath doesn't do that. That wasn't a cone. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is looking good. Yeah, this is good. And then he goes again. Nice! Yep, this is nice. This is very nice. Definitely the way to go. Should have been using range this whole time, but I was just being stupid. And the 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 horde gang rape just kind of felt good. But uh, this is the way to do it. We are dominating now. Um, nobody's blessed, but I don't think they need it for this fight. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw a javelin and get hit by fire. 
Yep, saw that coming. What the fuck? Watch Hill Spawner. Are they gonna... Is this one of those fucking battles they're just gonna keep spawning until I kill that? Uh, attack? You can only attack a foe that you see. Really? <laughs> you can't... You don't see him? You don't see him, really? What? The shaping hall of this outpost is just ahead. It is not abandoned. It is infested. In the far end, there are swirling pools of essence, but they've been corrupted. Dark and vicious. Viscous. Viscous. They're reeking of, and reeking of vinegar. In front of the pool, a bizarre creation grows. I'd like to look at it, but... Rooted on the floor, it's a horrible, slimy beast. Roots extend from its base to the pools. Quivering tubes stick out from the top. As you watch, it starts to squeeze a small Fiora out of one of them. It's, if this horrible thing is a Shaper creation, you've never seen its like. It's a mindless machine for making rogues. Uh, let's bless. We're gonna kill this thing. Yep, it just made another- yep. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright. Kill him quick. Please. Quick action. Nice! Yo! Being able to just fucking dominate a turn like that is just amazing. This guy's a big pussy, by the way. Or is he an enemy right now? Oh. <laughs> Had to do it to him. <laughs> Sorry about that, my man. Uh, well. Okay. Alright. Give me a double. Give me a double. Didn't give me a double. Okay! Nice, 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 nice. We're doing it. We're doing quite well. We've already, I mean, we've taken a loss already, but it's not so bad. Only a couple guys left. As long as we can get there in time. Nice, nice. Just, just fucking mow them down. Even your own kind. Give it to them. Fireball. Oh! That is fucking brutal! Alright, well, I gotta kill this guy. And then I... Ooh, ooh, this is... Ah, this, oh, terrified? Are you fucking joking? Run up. I can't reach. Fuck! The right-click thing is gonna fucking drive me crazy! Okay, he's back. Alright. Attack him. Can't reach. Escape. To cancel. Yes. Thank you. Are you fucking joking? There's more over here. I thought I- And he can attack?! He's not just a spawner?! This is a tough game! But, we did much better than I could have expected. Like you're over encumbered. You think? Uh. Nah. I mean, I'm encumbered. I'm not over encumbered. If I stick this in my junk, does it get rid of my, my weight? No. <laughs> no, it does not. Uh. Yeah, I need to sell shit. I forgot about that. Let's kill these guys down here. That'll be a much easier proposition. Just without that spawner, just clear out some of these guys first. Should have done that immediately, but uh, I was exploring, dude. Fuck off. The flaming horde. Uh, get down here, and yeah, yeah, bless him. It's wearing, not carrying. You can carry an infinite amount. Oh, well then I'm still not over encumbered, but okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, if I... Yeah, go for it. I don't want to lose the blessing, so just just run. Yeah, I understand. Just go. Go. Uh... That leap is fucking brutal! 
I think I saw something about that. It's like mainly something that comes up on these harder difficulties, which makes sense because it fucking blows. Well, I guess we're doing melee now. Uh, he stops me. I guess I could have moved one space away with all those guys. What's more powerful? Yeah, that's what I thought. Nice! Okay. Get him. I... Are you, fu you f fucking? I hate that. I hate it when they fucking turn on me. But it's fine. See, this is like real Mongolian strategies. I don't care if I lose some men. I don't care if like a few of them turn against me and try and take over the clan. I do care when they kill me. Okay, well, you know. Um... Yeah, that's a downside. No, I will I will admit to that. That is a bit of a downside. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was gonna say, you know, I've got so many, so many guys, what does it even fucking matter? But no, it matters. Um, hmm. Yeah, it does matter. If I just put a point into battle or, or magic, it would make them more loyal. Go down one difficulty. Not yet. Close. It's possible. But not yet. Okay. What the fuck? This fucking guy! These guys are fucking insanely powerful. On the hardest difficulty. You know? <laughs> oh! That's not a kill. Okay, well. I'm gonna fucking... I was gonna bless, but no, I'm getting that kill. Okay, nice, nice. Nice, I'm very surprised I can reach. Hell yes. See, if they didn't have leap, this would be so much easier. Oh, okay. Just because I'd be able to, uh, I'd be able to just, you know, whittle away at them as they come up. But I guess if I spread out my guys, I can do that somewhat. Because now he's stuck attacking this guy. Who ran away? Who ran away? I guess that's better than turning on me. At least I don't have to kill him, but... Not ideal. <laughs> ah! He targets me again! Classic. Oh, there he goes. Give me a double, please. There we go. There we go. Woo! We did it, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I was saying you need to spread your creations out between types. You misunderstood me earlier. Having three three fire is worse for control than one fire, one battle, and one magic. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, well, I don't have anything else yet. So once we get any other kind of creation, I will keep that in mind. But at the moment, not a lot of choice in the matter. That still means I'll probably want to level them up differently anyway. Oh, oh, oh. We reached a... Well, I just saved. We reached like a safe zone. There's a servile settlement out here. An island of peace in a sea of rogues. An old obelisk has been dragged here, sanded down and carved with the words, Elra's Keep. The keep itself is more of a burrow, descending into the hill to the south. The passage has been shored up with fresh logs. Servile guards are kept stationed other side, armed and ready to feed off, hung fend off hungry intruders. You are welcome. I'd like to point out that they're like fucking six feet away from this place that spawns monsters. Can I give us tiny spoiler? No. No spoilers. Ready to leave the region. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, okay. Oh, does that mean I can't pass through there since that other place isn't friendly though? Yeah, whatever, whatever, it's fine. You enter the keep of Elra. This is yet another shaper ruin, probably barracks for the island soldiers. The serviles have done a good job of restoring it. Yeah, it looks nice. Except the wood lying around here is kind of messy. You should mop the floors as well, which it seems like you were trying to do. But The crumbling stone floor has been torn up and replaced with wood. No, they haven't? That's a lie. Is he... Why would they, Why would they say that? I can clearly see some of it has... Oh, I guess these must be the crumbling stone floors, and these must be the stone floors that are intact. <laughs> that must be what it means. Many of the shaper tapestries in the walls have been painstakingly restored. As you enter, you feel the eyes of many armed serviles on you. You are welcome here, but you doubt they will tolerate any trouble. 
As you pass the guards, one of them says, Welcome, stranger, to the home of the... I thought that said awake... That, I thought that said awkward. Of the awakened. Elra awaits. Points to the south. Okay. Uh, just a bunch of serviles. Taking a look around. I might be able to steal something. But I doubt it. And killing all these guys would be fucking impossible. At least where I am right now. Let's read their lore. This book is full of speeches describing the beliefs and views of the awakened. Serviles come to these halls to hear sermons about their beliefs. Huh. They formed a religion. This Elra guy kind of seems like a cult leader who's created a cult of freedom. The demands for re the writings are full of gratitude and respect for the shapers who made the serviles. The demands are, of, for respect and independence are very politely made. Yet most shapers, if they read this book, would immediately burn the awakened settlements to the ground. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Okay. Oh, that's blocked off. Passages caved in. Okay. Quite right. It seems like the appropriate response, probably. You know, like I'm, I'm no, I'm no expert in the lore here, but awakened wishes. This entry is already in your codex. I'm awake! <laughs> he says, running back and forth. Oh, it's just a thorn baton, I see. What is that? What is that? Uh, let's talk to Ting. Talking about mushrooms down here. You meet a quiet, shy servile. She circles the pool, checking the supplies, dragging around bags, and checking the produce. When you approach, she says, Hello, I'm Ting. Then she smiles and looks down. I mean, wanted to say something to you. You said you want to say something to me? What? There's someone named Nab in Bakiri. He's very interesting. You should talk to him. I'm afraid Nab is gone. Oh, I see. This was another spy? <laughs> These spies are the worst fucking spies in the world. <laughs> this section of the keep has not been restored by the Awakened. The original stone floors are here, slowly crumbling. At least the ceiling hasn't caved in, yet. Oddly, the passages are icy cold. The thick frost on the floor indicates that no serviles have been back here for a while. Oh, is this like a small dungeon? Inside? Inside of their base? I don't know, dude. I feel like I would clear that out fucking a little faster. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's just abandoned. But I have a feeling I'm going to have to kill something here. Pick the lock. Only one living tool. Or... Shit, dude. Ugh. I've got... I've got the stats. Oops. Cancel. I've got the stats. I could get more mechanics. I could also get one leadership, though, which I think is valuable. Oh. Oh, they got merchants. Ooh. Um, it is an honor to meet one of your powerful and wise order. What do you got? Shielding band. Eh. Uh, uh, yeah, it's nice, I guess. Can I sell shit to you? Sell junk bag. Okay, that's a start. This is all fucking junk. Are these items now not removable? Are you fucking joking? This is just, I'm, these are just stuck here forever now? I can't take them out because they're in my junk bag. Can't sell them because they're not worth anything. Cool. Uh, I don't need the sword. And that's a lot of money. Yeah, sell it. That's the idea. That, Did it sell, finally? That was kind of weird. What the fuck was I missing there? It doesn't even tell me how much- what? I'm at 166. He gave me eight, six dollars for it. No way, when I hit sell junk bag, it clears my bag. Because you probably didn't put any junk in there, I guess. I'm just a junk bag can only be removed when you're in a friendly city. Oh, maybe I can remove them now. I just can't sell them because he doesn't want to buy them. Nope. You can only remove you you can only remove when you're in a city. Oh yeah, I guess this isn't a city. Yeah, okay. I thought this would count, but fine, whatever. Uh is that everything I want to sell? Yeah, I guess. What do you sell? 
Fruits and meat. Very expensive. Is everywhere fucking very expensive? Just because they don't like me, they don't trust me. Javelin, steel javelin. Nah. I don't think I need those right now. Let's check over here. So I'm not going to open that up yet. Although it's tempting. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck this doesn't count as a city. It, it seems like enough of a city to me, but... Like, it's got merchants, everybody's friendly, like, I, you know, it seems to meet the requirements. It did replenish everybody, so that's strange. I'm gonna create another guy. Um, we'll call him, uh, what was it? Chingus? Uh, what were the other? <laughs> what, Dingus? Chagatai, I think I used. Dongus? Otacon. I, uh, right, 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 dude, I like Otta. Otta? Con. That's a fucking Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid reference, dude. Let me in. No? No? Oh, this place is spooky. Also, there's no music anymore. That just, it just stopped. How long, how long has it been? I was just thought it was, I keep forgetting that the music is not coming from the game. So when it stops, it's just like, oh, this is a weird atmospheric part of the game. This, this is strange. Uh, how would Yeast music work? Oh, I love the opening song of Yeast. I want to stream some Yeast someday. Whoa! The fuck is that? It's blue! Uh, the game like almost crashed from that one. Uh, okay, well we should be able to fight this. Fuck! The thing, this thing- Ah, oh, I didn't mean to- Shit, I misclicked. That's fine, that one will distract him. I was- I did that on purpose. Let's bless. Oh. No, I suppose I can't fight that one. I su I suppose I was wrong. Uh... <laughs> Holy shit! I may have to drop down to not the highest difficulty in the game soon. But, uh, we'll see. This is some intense music to have playing in the background. Um, Otta? Con. There we go. Alright, instead, let's go talk to whoever the fuck. El Elfrin, Elfron. What killed the dinosaur dinosaurs? The Ice Age. <laughs> it's funny, dude. I'm, I'm happy. I'm proud, proud of you. Let me... You know, it might be smart. How how charismatic do I want to be is the real question here. Because I'm trying to adjust the volume and it won't let me. That's always cool. YouTube, please. There we go. Like, do I care about having... About talking to these people? Like, maybe I should put a leadership... Nah, nah, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna put a point in mechanics. Hell yeah, dude. I'm doing it. I'm fucking going for it. Let's open this shit. I'm doing it. I want these items. Like, what if there are spells in here? Or shit I can sell? Not that there's much I can buy, really, but... That still costs one living tool, even with higher... Okay, fine. What do we got? I need to, like, move me up when I'm not in battle. Curing spores. That's pretty good. Speed pod. Alright, well, it's not exactly the greatest fucking set of finds. Is that really it? I wasted a living thing on that. Just a couple healing items. Okay. Alright. We're expecting it to go below one. Yeah, because some of them do. That's what it told me in the tutorial. <laughs> like, like yeah, it, some of them go below one. Like the very first one in the game, it it if you have it high enough. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It doesn't uh, it doesn't cost anything. Is that only for the tutorial one? That can't be right. Be at peace. No. Let me look around. I'm gonna look around this place. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy's hiding a fucking, a fucking canister in here. Also, I could totally steal, but it's got a trap. 
And I can't yet get rid of traps. I forgot. That's actually another good reason to, uh, to have mechanics. It's just not having to get, you know, being able to get rid of these traps. Does this open? You don't have enough living tools. You need seven. Holy fuck. Okay, there's something really good back there. Or it's garbage, and they're just fucking with me again. Alright. Let's talk. You meet Elthra, leader of Serviles, revered by them for his wisdom. That is a huge nose, dude. To your eyes, he's not exceptional. He's strong, sure, and armed with a sword, but no more imposing than any other Servile you've met. He's neither old nor scarred, yet he is unusual. When he looks at you, he stares you straight in the eye. He shows no fear. He knows that Shapers could destroy his people in a minute if they wanted. And yet he refused to gro refuses to grovel. Welcome, Shaper, to our home. I desire words with you. Identify yourself, Servile. I hope you aren't as insolent as all the others. I don't know how this is going to go. The Servile looks for hints of, of your intentions. Well, I made it pretty clear. <laughs> I don't think you need hints. Your cold greeting should make him anxious, but if he's afraid, he conceals it well. I'm Alfra, founder of the Awakened. Since I heard of your arrival on our isle, I have eagerly awaited your visit. We have long feared the return of your kind. We Serviles were forced to think for ourselves. <laughs> what a terrible fate. <laughs> we had to think. Why did you make us think? And now you may force us to say what we have learned. Why is this so important to you? Because there are three united settlements of Serviles on Susia Island. Not all of them are inutile. Not all of us. Most of us are thoughtful creatures. All of us fear the Shapers. All will be trying to win your favor. Get your help. I want to tell you our ways to convince you that favoring us is the just path. I'd like to... Oh, I thought I said religion. Oh. I want to know more. I'm glad to hear it. The meaning of my entire life is to tell more of our sect and our beliefs. I'm glad that you've come to speak with me before supporting a different sect. I'm sure you find our views the wisest on Susia Island. What do you believe? What are your views? The shit. This is some calm ass music, dude. Am I dropping frames? Hmm. Hmm. The Shapers created us. You are our parents. However, we will always be grateful. However, while we will always be grateful to you, we should not be your slaves. We wish to deal with you as intelligent beings and as equal equals. Can we give these guys like a math test? Can these guys actually... Because can't they not read? Right? Like, uh... Are they actually equal? I guess that's kind of my question. Is like... Okay, like, sure. You're a lesser being insofar as like I created you. But... Are you, are you worse, too? Because if you're equal, then I'm real fucking good at creating. They can read. They couldn't read that ledger before. It said that. We believe in, or they at least didn't understand it, I suppose. Or they speak a different language. That can't be right, because we speak the same. We believe in fair trade for goods and services. For anything we give you, we expect fair compensation. And for anything we take from you, we will pay. We believe that we and the Shapers can live together in peace and mutual support. Most of all, we want peace and dignity. Uh, that's stupid as shit. We created you to serve us. We made you so you owe us your worship and obedience. Uh, interesting. You, can, you have done well for yourselves, but we Shapers can't remake our entire society and beliefs for the sake of your little tribe. <laughs> One and three are fucking intense. Surprisingly, your views make sense. I never realized before I came here that serviles can support themselves. Mm. I mean, three is a softball version of one. I don't want to piss them off too much, but I will... I think this is reasonable. Like, hey, we have an entire society based on slavery. Um, what do you think I'm going to do? What do, you, what, do you think, what, do you, what do you think we're going to fucking get rid of Rome? No fat chance. Elra shakes his head. It's not just our little tribe. All serviles are one tribe. All can be free. All should be free. Well, you know, like, one third of you don't 
agree with that. <laughs> so, not really sure. Not really sure what, you know? Like, yeah, okay, I like, you know, solidarity, but not really working practically. As much I'd like to learn about this island. So we all do. Well, uh, I'm looking for a boat. I can understand that, but I can't aid you. I do not know where a boat is. You might try searching the villages to the east, but their beliefs are very backwards. I found many strange canisters. Uh, I see you need the strength they give you. It must be necessary to survive the dangers here. However, they are changing you in ways I do not understand. It frightens us. You look cold and strange, and you glow in a soft, strange way. Use them if you must, but be careful. Do you have any? If you wish to take the risk, who am I to judge? Is it a risk? Should I? Is it a risk? <laughs> I think there's one in the ruins we have not reclaimed. Ah, oh, perfect. Uh, I saw it some years ago. For poison and other afflictions. Oh, okay. So I'm going to write that down. Cure poison in Elhra. Got it. Uh, I have another question. I want to talk about this region. Why are you being attacked by rogues? Or are you being... It's impossible to travel around here and not know the answer to that. There have always been rogues, but their numbers have grown over the last two years. This this music does, is not fitting me. As much as I like... As much as I like uh, the yeast music... What about, what about dysfunctional systems, learning to manage chaos? VN music, dude. This might be a little too intense. Or a little too, a little too serious. Uh, outside the fort, they seem to come from Watch Hill, not far away from here. Yeah, it's fucking across the street. Perhaps you could investigate. Your shaper powers could get you where our meager skills can't. Uh, what villages are near here? You've already been to Vakiri, the wisest and strongest of the service, servile outposts. Pentil is to the east. They, you can get there by traveling east of here or north from Watch Hill. Both routes get you there eventually. The path to the east is full of dangerous rogues. Pentil is occupied by obeyers. They worship your kind to an extent that upsets me. Farther east is Kosk, home of the Takers. They hate Shapers. Be warned. What other survivals live here? They're the Inatile, of course. Not all Serviles are fit to live a civilized life in a sect. Some are peaceful, some become brigands. Yo. This is good exposition music. Um, tell me more of- no, I already know that. Region... Uh... No, I already- no, okay. You don't have a quest for me? Why did the Shapers abandon? We know that it was cruel abandoning us the way you did, but we do not know what caused it. Speak to the alerted Peener and Vakiri. Yeah, she didn't really tell me that much. She said she basically- she just said go north. Um, well, I don't think I can kill that thing down there. But I can probably... Alright, well, let's just go- let's go kill some more shit. I'm pretty far from more EXP, though, so I think we're- we're about reaching the phase where there's, like, nothing left I can kill. But we'll- we'll- we'll make do. We'll push through. I think- I think we can- Oh, yeah. Leave. You can't leave. Fuck him. My army. Let's go. Come on, boys. So, yeah, I can't go here because Watch Hill's in the way. It's good to know. Uh, yeah, let's take a look around. We can also find some paths to other places. Yeah, okay, Thor- I didn't mean to fucking record that. <laughs> my records, my journal is gonna be terrible. Okay, so there's Thorny Fen. I know where that is now. Once I clear Watch Hill, I can teleport there. Uh, let's check this other path, too. The Thads that are walking around aren't that bad. So if I can run into a few more Thads, get some EXP... Yeah, 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 yeah. I got this. Um, just one guy, just shoot him. Ugh. I doubt you can reach from here, but maybe. Didn't think so. Alright, could be doing better. Wait, do these guys not have leap on the on a easier difficulty? Because that would actually... That would make this game way easier. Alright, that was easy. Took no damage. Oh. 
this is another part of their outpost? Oh. It's a little too loud. Might have to go to bed soon, actually. It's later than I thought. Yeah, I might have to stop in a second. I'm gonna check this place out, but... You meet an old servile hermit. Her skin is papery and her robes are tattered. However, she moves with the precision and strength of an old warrior. I need to turn off these fucking notifications down here. Uh, her motions would be more fitting of a guardian than an aging creation. She looks up- Yo, fucking pick a game, dude. <laughs> she looks up at you. Greetings, Shaper. I am Cerula. I am sure you- I'm sure you have a reason for disrupting my privacy. Why do you have so little respect for me? A Shaper who is as stranded on this island as I am. I'm awakened, Shaper, and I do not hold you in awe. Now tell me about that. I'm not a talker. Go talk to Elra. I have another question. Um, why do you live out here? I'm a private being. I wish for you to respect it. My disagreements with Vakiri are my own business. Are there any others who live out here? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Talk about the settlements. Will you make? Will it make you leave faster? Fine. Vakiri is west. There you have been. Elra's keep is south. There is wisdom there. Pentalus to the northeast, Kaz is far to the east. You will like the former, the latter will not like you. Um, what do you think of all the rogues? They disturb my serenity. I would gladly be rid of them, but I'm not eager for the danger and the effort. Why don't you help me? I came here to avoid contact with others, even you, Shaper. Um, if they're not stopped, they'll only get stronger. I command you to aid me. No. I feel like if I had maybe had some leadership, I maybe could have, <laughs> could have fucking told her like, hey, can I get non-creature companion? Well, I guess he, I guess she is a creation actually. All right, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop here. It's getting kind of late. This game is fucking cool. I like this game. It's got a lot of interesting, uh, like, the story is interesting. A lot of, a lot of interesting questions being asked. But then also, it's kind of fun. Like, playing on a hard difficulty like this. I might have to drop it to Veteran, but we'll see. But at the very least, even on Veteran, it'd probably be pretty good. I don't know. If there was like an in-between between the two games.